Chris, there's literally no way to make that to make you not in the frame. It just there's no way to do it. No way to do it. All right. Well, I just want to get in the frame. Just having one of those days. Yeah. Well, there we go. That's a better frame. Check slot report. Send the uh, pop up link. Can you put that? Turn that filter on to make me look old and hideous. Yeah. Or is it already on? Uh, I can actually mess around with that if you want. It looks like it's already on. Good. I don't want people knowing that I'm handsome. It would, be, it would just be bad for my image. You're a moderator. Oh, good. Thank God. Yeah, we got to make sure the filter stays on that makes me look all fucked up and old so that people don't know that I actually look cool and good. That's step one. Okay, can I get in there? It's like the dream. Here's how you do the... You know uh, the streamer, the dream? The dream? I'm, I'm a big fan. <laughs> I, I, guys, I'm actually... It's time for to do a little reveal. I'm actually the streamer, the dream. Do you know that? Are you making me orange? I'm just, you know... Let me get in there. I know video stuff. Watch this. <laughs> yeah, increase the sharpness. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? It's me, the dream. <laughs> <laughs> the night terror. <clears throat> ah, yes. I'm going to do a little zoom. Whoa. Yeah, that's good. Set it to auto mode. Wow, it's amazing what you can do with modern technology. Are we sharpness maxing? Yeah. It looks better that way. Oh, this is fine. We should turn on anti flicker. Make it so strong that it starts flickering. Alright. Got it open. Good God. Oh, we got a member. Badgedo. Badgerdow. Welcome to Severe Beast. Uh, Fork Bomb. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, had a lot of fun with Fish Tank, but it's also great to have these streams back. Got curious watching the live stream. What are your thoughts on using digital asset management software like Adobe Bridge for organizing footage? Um, I don't use Adobe Bridge. I think it's uh, gets in the way. It just doesn't. Anytime when they when they try to make it smart, it just it just doesn't come off so smart. Yeah. I I didn't even. That's my first time hearing about Adobe Bridge. Yeah. I don't even know what that is. Yeah. I, I will say Bridge is the best one. All the other stuff, like the Sony, Sony fucking uh, ass massager. What's it called? Does Sony have Fungus? a uh... Sony Catalyst? Yeah, this this is like dirt. Any the Adobe one's actually fine. Anything anything else is like dirt though. You don't want that on your computer at all for any reason. So we were going to expose that Crypto Ponzi Discord. Yeah, those guys got me good, man. <laughs> I don't know if I even want to talk about it. We can talk about it next week. They got me right in the wallet. What's an ongoing uh, investigation? They could always make it back. Yeah. But yeah, they said Mark Cuban was an early seed investor. And uh, they said... They were saying it was going to do a bunch of, like, world, you know, remember WorldCoin? Oh, yeah. You know Sam Altman? Mm hmm Famous, famous scammers named Sam. Have you seen this guy? Oh, I got to link it back up. I'll get it in there. Don't worry. I know how this shit works. Well, the cameras. Well, I'm That's not worried about that. Basically, just gotta deactivate it and then activate it. Nah, it was giving me trouble. If you go to, oh, we just um, gotta delete it then. Yeah, delete all the video capture devices. Hey, we got a member. I'm on it. This is the best stream in the nation. Yeah. Delete that one too, and then add a new source. Yeah. We'll get it in there. We'll have tech support to video this. capture. We'll get tech support to do this. We'll scroll down to cam I think it's just called camera. That yeah, one's working. Yeah, there we go. Nice. <clears throat> Have you 
you seen Sam Altman? Who is that again? Man, there's a lot of famous scammers named Sam. There's Bankman Freed. Yeah. Sam Altman is the the uh, CEO of OpenAI. Oh, okay. I, I know the name. Which is oh neither my God. which is neither Open nor AI, but his his actual name is Jew. His face is very. Uh, and that's not it? that's not anti-Semitism. People accuse me all the time of being anti-Semitic, but his his birth name is Jew, with no last name. Did you know that? The S A and the M are si the S A and the M are silent. Yeah, but this guy's great. He's a tech entrepreneur. His real name's Jew, which I always thought was kind of weird. But he's got he a goes, very weird face. He goes by Sam Altman. He's like an alternative alternative man. Holy shit! <laughs> Altman. He looks like. Uh, have you ever seen the movie Happiness? No. The Todd Solondz movie. Hey, Wolf, thank you for joining. <laughs> There's this... So the, the happiness, the guy that wrote this, he's, it's kind of, it's pretty out there. Yeah. And I don't mean out there in a good way. But the, the character, one of the characters is a, a sympathetic character and is a pedophile. Yeah. You're supposed to feel, like, sympathy for this guy. That's, like, the reason this movie is known and this is his dream of just shooting people in a public park this is his fun daydream that he has oh we can't show this can we probably not anyway <laughs> he reminds me of this guy <laughs> oh, the face is so he's got a very weird face but yeah he did this guy did world coin which th this is that's one of the dead giveaway tells that ai is bullshit is because this guy's previous heavy hitter, big time idea was WorldCoin. Do you remember what that was? No. That was where they were going to have, and people people think um, people th take this as evidence of um, the CIA orchestrating everything, but sometimes people are just retarded. Um, and WorldCoin was the one where they were going to have an optical, like a uh, eyeball scanner. Yeah. Scan your retina, and that's how you'd get a unique ID. And after you scan your retina, you would get some balance of world coin deposited to you. And the program was going to be... Um, this is weird. What are these weird alien glyphs on this? <laughs> but the, everybody, everybody was going to get a little bit of world coin, but in exchange for having your retina scanned. And people were like, oh, this is... It's, oh, it's clear the NWO just wants my retina. It's just this. It's just it's this. More likely, it's just fake tech bullshit. This turbo Reddit like yeah. fucking nerd. That's all it is. At least. I swear I'm black. Thank you for joining Severe Beast. But that's how you know that anything this guy touches is also bullshit. Oh my god. Good god, man. Jesus Christ. Oh, what the hell? This guy looks fucked up. He looks like he can fit a whole sandwich in his mouth. Yeah, he can fit the whole D'Angelo's in there. <laughs> he eats sandwiches in one bite. Anyway. He fake. can scan debit cards with his wide mouth. It's fake tech. Robo Man. I've said before. We got Robo Man 2444 with the 25. Now the fish tank is done. Will you have time to hit the track? Also, have you seen my Roomba emails for season two? We will be hitting the track. I will be hitting the track soon. The Roomba is, uh, it is gonna be in play for season two. That is I'm, gonna, sure. I'm gonna go do rally school. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant like the running track. I should have known. I'm gonna hit the running track too. Yeah, you gonna do cross country? Yeah, I'm gonna do cross country and do all that shit. I used to cheat in cross country. Nice. Doofus Dan, what's good, fellas? Congrats on the success with Fish Tank. Looking forward to MDE2, Trollface. Thank you very extremely hyper much. 
Uh, and ghetto hummus. Welcome to Severe Beast. Man, I want some hummus. Want it bad. Yellow Swaggins. Welcome to Severe mm. Beast. I'm hungry. And Ripper. There's a spot downtown that has killer Wagyu. Is it Wagyu beef? Wagyu beef hummus. Wagyu. Wagyu. It's like $18. Yeah, we need that. And I order two of them. <laughs> now, do we actually need to start making sure that our meat is not mRNA vaccinated meat? Is that a thing? Yeah. Mm. Well, I mean, I, not to be a, a doomer here, but they'll eventually just get you with mosquitoes. You know? No. Yeah, they, they can. No. In California, no. They, uh, they vaccinate via mosquitoes. Do we have bubbles? We do not have bubbles. We do not have. Fucking like the logistics of renting a bubble bubble machine. That's what my day is. <laughs> American DJ Bubble Bubbletron, high output bubble machine. Now, do you do we want to go with the Bubbletron or the Goo Goo Bubble? Well, we need to make sure that we have full bubble coverage. <laughs> How long do we need it? For an, an entire day of shooting. Oh my God. So how do we get um, untampered meat? Uh, probably just got to go to like a farm or buy a cow and put it in a freezer. Yeah. But this is getting ridiculous. Is that actually a thing that we got to worry about? Can someone tweet me the info? I'm going to make a thing. I tweeted it. If you have the info, reply to this tweet, guys. Do not reply if you don't have the info, or if you have fake info. I'm not interested in fake info. Thank you. We, there needs to be a, a cappuccino you can take that will prevent being affected by the cappuccino. Well, I think there's a, uh, I think there's a um, protocol, the mo we call it the mo 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 protocol. Yeah. But I'd rather just not have a bunch of shit floating around in my veins in the first place. Well, Momomo's protocol is it's pretty it's pretty good. Uh -huh. But it'd be much easier if there was just a one like a shot you could take. Like a it shot? Would just prevent You know, like a vial? Yeah. You go to the doctor and get it? <laughs> yeah. Alright. <laughs> it's kind of scary thinking all the things you have to avoid. Yeah. The, the microplastics, the... Uh, yeah, there's a lot of junk out there. I mean, I think is uh, I feel like as long as you control your water... Yeah. You're kind of okay. But, uh... I gotta get a distiller. Distiller. Start distilling my shit. Monkey Horizon with the 25. Sam, I'm making a video game. I need to find music for the soundtrack for an SSX-style game. How do you go about licensing music? Contacting people uh, I like on SoundCloud? How much should I expect to spend on 15 to 20 songs for my game? Yeah, God. Probably about $50,000. <laughs> what was the question? Uh, how much... How do you find... I need to find music for a soundtrack for my SSX style game. How do you go about licensing music? Do I just contact people I like on SoundCloud? How much should I expect to spend on 15 to 20 songs? Just see if, try to get them to do it for free. If they'll, uh, if your game's gonna make a ton of money, um, free is a, is a, and do it for free and like let them get profit from selling the uh, soundtrack. Kanye West celebrates his birthday with sushi being served on naked women. Um, 
Make sure you post from my social too when we do this thing here. Uh, I think um, a one page, like a very briefly worded contract is fine. If you're not going to make any money with your game, then you don't even need to bother with a contract. But if you think that you're going to, if you've got some success, um, if you have a successful idea potentially, get a briefly worded one page contract and just don't even mention money. Just say, you know, if you do a, if we, if we get big and sell a soundtrack for the game, then I'll, I'll uh, have the, all that money go to the artist. You can do it that way. I think that's a pretty fair way to do it. Um, if, uh, unless you're getting custom music, that's kind of a different, different thing. But uh, you probably can't afford custom music. It's easier just to let someone give you permission to use um, what they already made. Michael the Boss Smith. What's up, man? I'm not sticking my face in the sewer right now. This is fucking... He says, off. what's up, guys? Good Have God. a great week. Hey, thank you. And Glory Hole Fred. Welcome to hey. Severe Beast. All Those right. two back-to-back -back really counteracted each other. They did. Johnny Meringue, thank you for the 10 euros. Johnny Lemon Meringue. This is how when I when I do my own promotion. <laughs> oh, I, I quote tweeted my okay. thing. I'm just so lazy. I'm not even gonna paste the link. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm streaming. Find it. <laughs> Let me get, get in there for a second. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get the uh, fuck. Scream Labs. Get it good. E. Hey, Joseph, thank you for the uh, generous 25, man. Says, uh, hi, Sam, what do you think about ESG scores and the closure of Splash Mountain? Um, <laughs> I mean, I think the same thing everybody else thinks about ESG scores. What's the closure of uh, Splash Mountain, though? Is that like a theme park? What would they do? There's a ride at Disney. Oh, they closed it? Why? Because it, was, it wasn't gay friendly? <laughs> was it not gay friendly enough? Gay Don't, gay. gay guys like being splashed. What do you think about rides? I mean, I don't like water rides. You don't? Yeah, because you get covered it soaked in bacteria. Like pee water? Just being splashed all over I don't, you? It's not the fact that it's pee, it's that it's like fucking MRSA. Yeah. I'm more. I'm, I'm way more scared of MRSA than I am of urine. Yeah. You know. Next, next fish tank. We should make sure everyone's MRSA positive. Yeah. First challenge. <laughs> yeah. First challenge, guys. We're gonna go to the hospital and check out some of these, some of these patients. <laughs> Grab their dirties. We're doing best kiss with a hospital patient. Best kiss with a. MK Lifelong with disease haver. Yo, MK with the 25. Sam, uh, how do you find a really good artist to do branding and social media art for your business? I'm not in the art world, so I don't know anyone. I mean, what's your business? Do you really need branding and, and art for your business? Most people don't. You could just make it yourself in Microsoft Paint. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think everyone could benefit from, like, taking a weekend and learning Photoshop from no matter what your business is. Just like having uh, even like announcements for your like, hey, it's 20% off weekend at my store or you know, something like that. I would say just learn it yourself. Just uh, get Photoshop. If you, if you have money, you could message uh, Miles McGrady. But if you don't have money, you probably don't need branding. I always, I, I always uh, overestimated the importance of um, I mean a lot of stuff at the end of the day it's like for for what we do if it's uh if it's funny then there's not you, the visuals like nothing the visuals don't matter like all that shit doesn't they, i do the graphics because it's fun but there's like a you know 40 40 450 people appreciate those you know like not enough people to make a difference um so find figure out what the essence of your business is and try to double down on that um, 
But yeah, design. Every, everybody sucks at design. You're, you're even if even if you had a budget, trying to find somebody who knows, like what makes sense to do with a design, it's just not. It's really hard to get that, because um, even even high end, like people that people who are good at it suck, and don't don't get what the essence of it uh, or what what is uh, required by whatever it is your your niche is probably. The quartering, sending this from the sauna, he says, giving us 25. Oh, good lad, thank you. Thank you, man. How's the training going? What, mine? No, for uh, so, quartering. Well, that was a secret, but now it's not. We can edit that out, though, don't worry. Noah McCarthy. <laughs> thank you for joining Severe Beats. Hey, guys, if you're just catching back up, the last 15 seconds didn't happen. D. D. Myth. Silon. Nalus. Hit mid. Uh -huh. Thank you for joining Severe Beasts. And we got Brendan N. Giving out five memberships. Mm. Uh, Black Oa. Sam, please do another merch drop uh, of the 1 800. We help you or spiritual successor to it. Sorry, it's only 20. Don't know how to do 25 on mobile. We'll get on Sorry. There. Is that true? You can't do 25 on mobile? Maybe we should adjust the price to 20. Well, we're missing out on all these mobile bucks. What's the most you can do on mobile? Well, if the reason it's 25 has to do with the 20 is the max on mobile. Oh, okay. So you've strategized. I'll leave it. I'll leave mm -hmm. it. Okay. All right. That's what gets us 50s. Okay. <laughs> Rewind that. Don't tell them I yeah, said that. <laughs> Guys, in case you're just joining us, the last 10 seconds we had a blackout. The internet actually went down. Crazy stuff. Why am I looking? Why am I scrolling Twitter? And what's wrong with me? Damage control oh, with the twenty. Idiot. Hey Sam, me and my uncle love your streams. He is fifty-three and has a degenerative brain disease, and you always make him laugh. But I hate him and Party don't time. love him. Yeah. How do I gaslight him uh, in, so I can get the will? He has a dope house. That's a good question. Um, if he likes your content, you could do a. You should give your family member your house when you die video that's the video i've been planning on doing but hey if i if i listen if i can benefit you i need some sort of cut from that you know i need a percentage but hey unk sign away that sign the papers man trust me the kids hey the kid knows what he's doing get it done i'll take a five percent commission on that uh joseph with the 25 well, that boy ain't got no chicken oil. He ain't gonna get up, he ain't gonna get down, but he's gotta keep him greased up with chicken oil in the ghetto. Last Tuesday, shots rang out on Martin Luther King Boulevard. That George Bush did. lied. That they did. A black boy died. I hate to hear, I hate to see that. Ain't got no chicken oil. <laughs> They're mad. Why? At the uh At your the 25 price yeah. tactic i'd never authorize that i don't know why it's set up that way guys it's really just horrible it is horrible can you believe these big corporations <laughs> <sighs> wither says what's up sammy guns are you an ar guy or an ak guy or do you just not care just curious because i've never seen you talk guns thanks uh i think aesthetically i like i like the uh i like them both aesthetically actually but I like a uh, wood AK, the blonde wood. I think that's the coolest, yeah. coolest looking, especially when it's got the wood on front and the back. Um, <clears throat> but I like them both. We change to uh, change scenes here. Yeah, I'll use my scene changing, my rig here. But. Uh, like a 74 With this this type of that sort of finish and um i like that shit yeah mine has that this is cool to me my ak is bad though is it yeah it's like the i forgot I julian really, what's the bad ak brand i really like this one uh, wazer uh, mine's a wazer i think they're bad? 
I think it's red too. The red looks good. What's the check? The check gun that looks like an AK but is not actually. It might um, be a CZ. Is it not is it a CZ? No. Yes? Damn. Yeah. Yeah. This that's is so cool. VZ58. Is that what the oh, thing is? No, yeah. no, 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 no. That's the, that's the uh, hunter on Tarkov. Uh, Jamie. Thank you for joining Severe Beast, as well as Dick. Yeah, Dick this, and Jamie. This, I, like, I like this kind of. I like the way this one looks. Yeah. VZ-58? Mm-hmm. Whatever the fuck this thing is. I think it's cool. Do you like Daewoo's? Uh, probably. It's yes, Korean. I do. I do like that. That's crazy. That's sick. I like that a lot. I want an FN-2000. Mmm. It's so crazy. Mm -hmm. Joey was talking about getting an AUG. Mm -hmm. We were talking about what to invest in. He was like, you know what? I'm just going to get an AUG. I mean, that probably would be a good investment. Yeah, for real. Oh, yeah. These are the G11s. Mm. Yeah, these things are crazy. Fucking outer space guns. You ever yeah. see these videos, that specifically this type? Mm -hmm. This Japanese guy or whatever this is? I think it's a Japanese guy. They do these like videos of these very love like very lovingly made. Yeah. It's got this, uh, it's like a, <clears throat> it has similarity to like car videos. Well yeah, this is like the same as the car videos yeah. I watch all the time. Best and stuff. With this <laughs> romance music. Mm -hmm. This thing slapped in Black Ops. Mm. The mags are so it's insane. It's got a Pez dispenser. Yeah. Is that 4.7 mil? Yeah, man. That's crazy. Ecstasy of gun. Mm hmm. <laughs> I used to have a, I used to have an all metal airsoft gun copy yeah. of this one. Oh, I the, love this thing. This is the, oh the B93R with the little hand grip in yeah. front. Got a bunch of chats here. Mm -hmm. Let's see where we left off. Now, when I the gun videos come on, I completely my brain goes my blip. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Turns gray. Sugar Mountains with the 25. Can you can we pretty please get BG Cumby on season two? He would be so funny. Also, uh, have the season two house have a log cabin aesthetic and make Sam the grizzled mountain man fur trapper dweller of the domicile. Oh, is that the... Oh, yeah, the MP5K carry cool? case? Damn. Have you seen... Look up FMG9. That's nuts. Yeah. And yeah, Cumbie's in Season 2. Season 2 of Fish Tank, I think. Oh, in Fish Tank. In, oh, yeah. Hey, you can't get it all. He's yeah, in yeah. World Peace, though. Who's this guy? Yeah. That gun is crazy. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> like a little Glock carry case. Shit. A few more here. Uh, we got a member, Mr. Nobody. Hey, man, thank you so much for joining. Ooky Spooky, we appreciate you, bro. And uh, Connor, thank you for the 550. Um, let's catch up here. We got our boy Hiso Carl with the 50. Damn, thank you. 
Mommy told me not to send super chats to the guys anymore, so I punched a hole in the wall and did it anyways. Yeah. It was an overreaction. And why does the 25 uh, autocorrect to 50 on mobile? Weird. No, 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 no. Don't hey, look man. at that. Thank you for the 50. Don't look at that. <laughs> but, uh, dude, thank you for the love, man. Thank you. Um, punch holes in Mommy's wall. You know, she's her life is too easy. Yeah, some of, some of you guys, you're too easy on your mommies. I think you need to start to regulate a little bit, show mommy who's boss, all right? You know what I mean? Step one, credit card. Mm -hmm. Whip it out. Make a few super chats here and there, show her who's boss. Yeah. Okay? Step two, you guys are just being too nice to your mommies. We gotta start laying down the law, laying the smack down, all right? Do we, now, here's a question. Do we have more viewers right now because we're looking at gun videos? I think they like this. Chad is going crazy for the gun stuff. Ugh. Joseph with the 25. Does RFK Jr. have a chance to win the Democratic nominee? I don't know. I haven't really been uh, paying attention other than the, the tweets that have, uh, clips that have gone viral enough for me to see them. Yeah. I did see Donald Trump going crazy at the Waffle House in Georgia. Yeah. He's, uh, he's so good at talking to people. It's crazy. You want to see something that makes me sick? Yeah. Have you seen this fucking guy? Oh, he does the little hand animations? Yeah. At first, don't we... I feel like animators will spend, like, weeks making an eight-second reloading video. I mean, they should, but they're terrible at it. Uh, Aurelanius. Have you seen this? You don't like this? No, man. <laughs> I like this better than the animator ones because this is just more efficient. This this guy is an animator. Really? Yeah. These are not. This is his. He's doing it with a camera, but he's yeah. he's he's like an animator at a triple A game studio. Oh, okay. Yeah. You don't like this? No, man. I fucking hate this person. The Ridge Wallet? <laughs> That's all you need to see right there. But you know what? Um, this will let you oh, know. Oh, wait. We weren't showing it on screen. Oh, well. Do they really need to see this? Nah. It's all right. Screen it up. <laughs> this guy. You've seen this. I've seen the actual animation stuff. Everybody knows this it. fucking shit. But this is, um... Anybody who has done any animation or anything, the thing, they, the thing that they, uh... If you want to understand why animation looks the way it does, it's because anybody who animates, and this includes everybody, learns about the 12 principles of animation, Disney's 12 principles of animation. Squash and stretch. Yeah. Anticipation, so if I'm gonna run this way, I go like this. Yeah. Pew! Yeah. Easing in and out. And these are like, this is like the law, the law of animation. This is just, this is just shit from Disney in the 40s. But the end result of people dogmatically, like, adhering to this without thinking about it is that everything, the, the ultimate stage of all Western animation is DreamWorks face. That's where... That's where those laws lead to. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> and for like for this to inf like games are supposed games are supposed to be the domain of 
losers. Like it's the, it's like the one place where like a loser, beta male, it's like where the 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 white man on his way out of civilization can find refuge and salvation in his video is in the first person shooter. Yeah. And like this seeping into that makes me hate this who this guy and his, who's definitely in a polyamorous in a polycule commander carl and like this is the only way to be this is the only way to have your um if you're masculine or you have a masculine impulse the only way for it to be excusable is to to don the soldier hat like ironically right like look at his this body language right here that wave specifically. What is he trying to? Is he trying to lure a six-year-old into his <laughs> Subaru? When do you when do you ever wave at somebody like that? Yo, it's me, Commander Carl. Don't mind me. But like, you can tell he's got, he's at least got some testosterone. Like he has a beard. He presents in a in a masculine enough way. Like he wants to. He's not wearing a. a you know, he's not dressed like a gothic Lolita or like most people would be this is the type this is his kind of his deal like he's unabashedly fat but he's his arms are he's got some muscle at least yeah he's in this house with fire on it or whatever um <laughs> but for him to, to for him to have a career and to like see uh navigate the modern world he has to do things like like this hey like, he has to sort of gay up his shit. I um, got, these are all about to go away. I got to hit them quick. Mm -hmm. Ice Ghost Main, thank you for joining. Um, somewhat Schmidt, join Freak Monster Nasty. That is nasty, man. Um, we got Marty the Mushroom Man with the 25. Hey, Sam, fellow John Claude fan here. What is your opinion on Time Cop? Also, which scene is better when he says have an ice day or when he does the stripper splits? I don't, I don't remember the scenes, but I'll go with Have an Ice Day. But JCVD is, um, all the movie, all his movies are the same. They're just like, well, no, that's not true. Time Cop is, is mid-tier, but still, still worth watching several hundred times. Floyd with the 25 High, Sam and Jet. I made a very short video of you rapping called Straight Out of Goobas. Hope you enjoy. Uh, Galanti with the 25. What do you think about having an on-site legal advisor for season two that has Down syndrome and a three-piece suit? That's funny. Our lawyer, he's like an imp. He's like legally blind. <laughs> this guy's a never trumper. You should have the the and lawyer a satanist. The deformed lawyer should be like on your back, like piggyback. Yeah. At all times. Early brim with a fifty. Hi, I know your advice is mostly for guys, but even as a female, I appreciate your advice and perspective. It's not enough for young women to pretend there will be a man to save us all. We need it to also be as responsible as we can be. Save the youth. Thank you, Early Brim, for the 50. Appreciate that. We've got a responsible lady in the chat. Um, moving on here, Guggenberg. Hey, man. Thank you for the 10. Um, wrapping it up with the noise machine with the 25 euros. Either of you remember TV Maxwell? He used to make some funny stuff back in the day. think he got brain inflammation and went crazy before he got big. Who's TV Maxwell? Is it this fellow? I think so. Okay. I don't remember. I'll check that later. We could watch some Breaking Bad Sigma shorts for like an hour, right? Yeah. What the fuck is that? <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> this is the guy that <laughs> this is the guy that approves every DreamWorks face. They have to show it to him and he signs off on it. What the fuck? <laughs> Is this the CEO or something? Jeffrey Katzenberg?
<laughs> Michael help. Eisner. I'm gonna out Mitch McConnell. When Michael Eisner opted to hire Michael Ovitz as Walt Disney president, Jeffrey Katzenberg resigned. He would go on to form DreamWorks alongside Steven Spielberg and David Geffen. What the fuck? <laughs> What, like, literally, what the fuck? Who are these people? I mean, you know who they are. What happened to... Yeah, what, I read the book. What happened to John Sullivan animation? Like, literally, why is it literally all Jews? We gotta, we gotta do John, John Sullivan Irish animation studio. Yeah, I'm checking. Derek G, thank you for the 550. And Patrick, thank you for the 25. Hey Sam, if you wanted to get your hands on an HGH prescription, how would uh, someone like that go about it? Go find a uh, men's health doctor. Do it with uh, medical supervision, probably, is my advice. Or just ask the biggest, nastiest dude at the gym. Bro, where do you get your stuff? Dude, where's the junk? Where do you get your supplements, bro? Hell yeah. Yeah, man. HGH protocol. I call it the forever protocol. Connor669 with the 25 Canadian. Yo, Sam, thanks for all the laughs over the years. MDE never dies. I like to show my sister-in-law the wine party sketch just so she knows it could be worse. That's a good point. Yeah, take it, don't take it easy on those female family members. It could be worse for you. Could be way worse. Imagine this. Know what I mean? Here, look. Look at this. What if I did this? Um. Somewhat Schmidt, thank you for the five. Thank you. I'm thinking about food. I'm feeling. What are the, now? Do we have any options for food? We could let chat decide. Oh my god. I do need to eat something. Oh, I have a protein shake. It's my lucky day. Don't worry, I'll give you half. <laughs> Don't worry, worry. I'll, let you, I'll let you lick the inside out. Don't worry, Jet. You can have half of this. There's chunks in it, though. You'll give me the chunky oh. half? Hey, Chris. Yeah. Can you change the channel member animation? Severe Beast? No, just because you know Nick's on. It's Nick's channel too, so something either with both of us or just the logo or something, or DreamWorks face or Troll face. A, do, a, doom, a doom enemy. A doom enemy? Yeah, like one of the imps. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Are we still? Yeah, Julian, are we still launching? Yeah. Is it ready? Mm. Okay. Just let me know when it's go time, and we'll show all the um, the I folks. Have, I have a promo. Uh, I don't have the fish tank. Ah. Uh, um. So uh, I can do SNL dual post and do the it. Yeah. We have something special to show you in a few minutes. I was wondering why I feel like shit. It's because I have to take my testosterone. Dominic Di Toronto, thank you for joining Severe Beast. And Henry, thank you for joining. Old Henry. Um, we got old Henry in here. Zach with the anime profile picture says, Yo, Sam, I'm about to turn 20, and lately I've been eating the slop, stopped hitting the gym, and I've been living straight D-Gen lifestyle. Any tips or advice to help me get back together? Love the streams, man. Keep it up. Get, uh, get back on the wagon. <clears throat> Just do it one step at a time and don't punish yourself. Uh, negative reinforcement doesn't work, so you have to not punish yourself. Um, this video right here.
Come on, man. Good God. Yeah, this right here. Um, the this this first thing. Don't create superstition. Remove have to, must, need to, etc. So he's he's talking about sleep, and if you're setting yourself up like I have to be on my, I have to be on this mattress. I have to have this temperature. I have to have my noise machine. I have to have earplugs in. Otherwise, I won't get good sleep. That's like a very damaging outlook to have. My point is though, that's a damaging outlook to have for anything. The perfect is the enemy of the good. You will never attain perfection. You'll never have a day where you're truly doing 100% of what you should be doing. So settle for 80-20. Try to, try to hit 80% of your goals. If you, if you fuck up on 20, then whatever, you're, you're fine, right? So that's, that's um, a really big deal, even though that's only one point in this thing that he's talking about. The rest of this video is good, too, if you, wanna, if you need to get better sleep. But that's, that point specifically is an important one to keep in mind. The perfect is the enemy of the good. So when you're trying to get your uh, your shit straightened out, just be be satisfied with doing 80% of what you think you should be doing, and just try to get better every day. You know, be be better. Yes, Chris, I can. Be uh, be better than you were yesterday. Um, I like how his his tips for sleep are just like mental. Mostly in like getting the frame. Yeah, getting your uh, your shit verified, getting your ass registered. Graveyard King suggests we eat KFC. Chris, it's doing that thing where it's not sending me the approval request for some reason. All seeing nap with the twenty-five. Sam, where do you get your iconic beanies? Uh, it's it's hard to find because they're um. Most beanies don't fit my uh, head, so I have to uh, be pretty selective. I've been wearing Frankenburger beanies. <clears throat> this is what I've been wearing is this uh, Frankenburger thing. It's GLBTQ, obviously, and I, you, I wear the one for women because it's uh, cheaper. Yeah. It's the same cut, though. But these are pretty good, the cashmere ones. Dennis McErnie with the 25. Sam, is there anywhere to watch your senior thesis? My friends and I have been fans for a long while, and we would love to watch it. Congrats on Fish Tank and MDE never dies. Chris, that, uh, that got approved. Is it, did it work? Yep. I need this Red Bull, I think. I'm fucking up right now. Um, the senior thesis, it, 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 sometimes I'll have it on the Million Dollar Extreme 2. YouTube channel, but it just it moves so slow and it's so shitty that I'm not really. It's a it's a curiosity for people that are real heavy fans, but I don't think it's good though. I think it doesn't deserve to be uh, seen really. Derek G, man, thank you, uh, thank you for the eleven there, and Obamazilla, thank you for joining. Uh, we got Silver joining up to Freak Monster Nasty. Thank you, man. Um, moving on here. Oh, what's up, Spark Z fourteen twenty? Thank you for the support here. Hey, Sam, I'll be hitting thirty three soon. Should I be looking into TRT? Any side effects? My work drive has taken a nosedive this year. You should definitely get your levels checked. I think everybody should get their levels checked. Um, and then if you ask, if you look at any other influencer, they'll say, oh, there's. There's a hundred ways you can get your there's a hundred ways you can get your testosterone levels up naturally. No, there's not. Not if not if you're not if you're working if you're oh yeah if you're an influencer if you're an influencer, and you have a farm. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Just go to the go to the farm that you own and sunbathe and get and. Uh, I'll tan my balls. And, and get the meat get the meat from your your hens. Yeah. You have a hen coop, right, at your apartment? 35. 35 that's hens. Yeah, that's a pretty big deal because that will help you with your testosterone. It will get, get you those levels na uh, naturally. And then when I'm, um, uh, when I'm 
paying people and worried about my failing business at 2 a.m., that's, that's usually when I get the best sunbathing in. That's usually when I get my hour of sunbathing and meditation. That's the easiest time to get it. Uh, in the middle of the winter when I have no woman to cook for me and I'm eating uh, roller hot dogs at 7-Eleven and I'm desperately trying to up my income from 800 a month to 1200 a month or whatever, like trying to build whatever your business is, that's, that's when it's the easiest time to get an hour and a half a day in the ice tub. And that's going to shock your testosterone levels way back up to almost enough. That's the easiest time to do it. And then, of course, meditating two hours a day. It, all this stuff, you, you only need about six hours a day and um, probably like 40000 a year disposable extra income to spend on raw milk. I usually, what I do is I go, to, I go right down to the convenience store to get the raw milk. Yeah. But people pointed out to me, no, it's because you don't live in, the, in a rural area. So then what I did was I, I just said to my boss, I said, hey, I don't want to work in the city anymore. I'd rather be an influencer and live in the country. And so he was like, bet, here you go, six-figure income. You go out there and live on a farm. It's easy. You just got to know how to put together a log cabin by hand. But yeah, if you're actually a real person and you're trying to do something, trying to do anything that doesn't involve sunbathing for your uh, 800,000 Instagram followers, and you can just, if you, if you have fucking 400,000 Twitter followers, you can just monetize. You can, it's the easiest thing in the world to monetize. Put up a tweet, here's a Patreon, $5, whatever. It's me picking my nose. Mm -hmm. you, that's easily enough money for whatever you want to do for a month. But if you don't have that, and you actually have to do something, then yeah, go to a doctor, get your testosterone levels checked, see if you need to get on TRT. I would recommend that. Taylor with the 25. Love your music, Jet. How did you learn to make beats and music? Where did you start? Um, man, my first stuff was uh, I would just re record over the song. I did not know how to make beats. I only knew how to do that recently. And it takes me so long. And music makes no money, so it's kind of discouraging to do it. I don't have much free time. But I really like it. Um, the song with... The, Josie, Letty, me, and Tax. It's gonna have like thirty thousand views in one day. It's pretty. It's pretty crazy. People really wanted to hear that song. I think you could make money doing music. I think. I think anybody. If you're. If uh, the the rap thing specifically, if you do it for a long enough time and you're good enough at it, you can probably make money. You don't need to be a. Yeah. Huge name. It's just not. It doesn't come naturally to me. I, I know. Uh, it takes me too long. It's too much grinding my teeth literally mm -hmm. it's not my it's not my main forte but it's still fun mm -hmm. to do on the weekends and stuff somewhat schmidt says have you seen mark lee animation pretty crazy animations I'm not and buckle dealer with the 25 yo sam should my brother get a lexus uh <laughs> gx 470 <laughs> um if not what should he get love y'all hell yeah Oh, those are cool. Yeah, you should get that. How much are those worth, used? Fucking probably $9,000. Mm. I already hate my C300. My Chrysler 300. It's a piece of shit website. Does anybody want to buy my car? I hate it. Your car's good. What are you talking about? I don't know. I'll put up pink slips. Dick with the 20 jet. You remind me of my brother. Y'all have many of the same mannerisms. It's nice to see because I don't see him often and I miss him. He's severely autistic and incapable of living on his own. Think it, dream it, do it. Yeah, I got a lot in common with him. Yeah. Uh, you this remind is just your me of brother guy. simulator. You actually remind me. I was going to say, but I didn't want to interrupt the stream. But yeah, you do remind me of that guy. Andrew Stitch, Jeff, please don't forget about your Instagram subscriber chat. We miss you. I want you to come back home. I'll be home soon. 
Sam Bjorni with the 25 Canadian. In the World Peace 1, the visuals were pretty basic and wait. In World Peace 1, the visuals was pretty basic. In what way would World Peace 2 help on that problem? Also, you touched in a Hide Wars video that you got into a scuffle with the lead cinema about lens choice for World Peace 1. So it's everything to your liking this time around. Well, the uh, if by visuals, if you mean the way the, the video looked, uh, it was just shot with whatever the... It looked like an Adult Swim show. It was the same <clears throat> camera. I'm sure it was the same camera and, and lens as, as all these other piece of shit shows they pump out. Which, uh... Okay. And these are, this is green I'm screen, right. so... This is green screen, so it looks a little different, but I, fu I fucking hate the way this looks. It just looks, uh... Yeah. Like a cell phone commercial. Like it's a Verizon commercial or something. It does look like a Verizon commercial. <laughs> It looks like it looks like when they try to do commercials that are comedy sketches, where it's like, hey, you didn't know that you could get five for five off at Wonders at fucking Home Depot dot com. I mean, this is like the worst looking thing in the whole planet. Never mind the fact that the actors are all um, soy and the premise is gay. It just Perfect looks, timing on that. It just fucking looks bad. Um, the Satan Show. Yeah. So anyway, this time around, it's it's okay. I mean, the it looks better mostly due to um, Alex Lucarini's skill. The guy shooting, it's really really good. We're using Sony FX3s with Sony lenses, which are pretty clinical. But we're putting, we're using diffusion, and. Um, I would say the footage looks pretty good. If I had my, uh, if we had an unlimited budget, <clears throat> I would want to do vintage Panavision lenses. Um, that's my dream to shoot World Peace three on vintage Panavision lenses, partially. Um, but uh, World Peace two looks, I mean, it looks much better, yeah. But it's we have uh, this is the guy that's shooting it. Um, Yeah, this guy right here. See? It's fucking some royalty-free song. Actually, I just saw his logo. Hold on a second. Yeah. This dude. Um, and I don't think he... I, he, I don't think he up, updates his YouTube page, but his website is... Uh, just follow him on Instagram. Is this even his Instagram? No. Come on, man. I think it was the other one. I'm gonna just ask him right now. Wankle, welcome to Severe Beast. And Liam O'Brien, what's up, dog? Fallout One or Two, which is supreme, Sam? Also, have you seen Starfield? It actually looks good. I mean, they're both. You have to play them both, but I think um, if you if you're not a Fallout fan, I'd say Fallout Two. But if you're I think Fallout, just that hit that hit so heavy. Um, oh, this is his Instagram. Really? Yeah, F uh, follow this guy. Give him a follow. Mindless pictures, but he's the reason why it looks good. Um, that and set design. Set design by Nick, by our other guy who I don't know if he wants to be credited. I'll ask him. Come on, man. All seeing Nap with the 25. Opinion on Roger Stone. I think he's genius and hilarious. Like when he persuaded voters not to vote for Al Gore because he made a lie about him wearing pink socks every Sunday. The two of you are master gaslighters. Set designers and then um, the two directors, uh, Bobby Hacker, who's insane, incredible, and um, Alex Schultz. Be Nice to Me Productions, who's doing a really, really bang up job. This fella right here. So give him, follow this man also. Be Nice to Me Productions. 
Someone asked if you knew who Roger Stone was. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't necessarily get it. Um, I haven't, I haven't watched. I just don't. I remember back in 2016 him being all over the place, but I don't know if I care. I definitely don't actually. Have you seen the Star Citizen stuff? Uh, I have not yet. Uh, is that the one where you can buy a fifty thousand dollar ship or no, whatever? No, it's the new Bethesda. It's new the Bethesda, Bethesda game, one. Yeah. Starfield. Oh. Star Citizen. Is he a Star Citizen? Let me see. Star Citizen is just this one yeah. where you can spend a lot of money on your Starfield. Sh Starfield. Gay ship. Um, I have not seen the Starfield stuff. It's, I think they just teased it. I it's hope like, it's good. Do you it's have to, like a Fallout. Do you have to play as a transitioning person with chest scars? <laughs> okay. I mean... Yeah, I don't it know. looks like it looks like it could be cool, but it could also suck ass. I mean, it's more about the the um, you never know, you never know. Cause I got I got roped in by uh, what is that? I installed Destiny Two. Really? I installed what was that piece of dog shit? The fucking out there, Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds. Oh, Good. Yeah, yeah oh, dude. <laughs> brother, what a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Yeah, but this looked interesting, you know? The trailers and everything. Soy space. You never know. I would be I'd be very surprised if anything if anybody put anything out like this. I feel like Skyrim might have been the last yeah. one where it was like huge scope, did it right, wasn't a fucking um, school mom lecture about, you know, Capitalism or whatever. All seeing nap. This uh, thing suck. Thank dick. you again for the twenty five. We got a bunch here. I gotta burn through these quick. Yeah. Um somewhat Schmidt, we'll look into that, bro. And Roboman two four four. Sam, I know it's not masculine to cry, but did you tear up a little at the rage your dream ending of initial D? I don't think so. Um Lil Bubs, uh, with the twenty five Euros. What up, man? Thank you. Idea for Fish Tank 2. When the fish arrive in the house, have each one walk in alone, only to be greeted by the real Chris Hansen reading a fake chat log. <laughs> Convince the fish they're on a real episode of To Catch a Predator. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> he needs money. He'd probably do it. Uh, Balak Obama with the 20. Sup, boys? The theory of the air videos are legendary. Piss myself laughing when I watch them. What was the background of the series? Any future plans for it or other projects priority right now? Fish Tank was lit. I am pumped for World Peace 2. What did you say? Um, theater of the Air. Are we still doing it, or is is it? There's over? a bunch of no. There's the a bunch of shit of that's um, <clears throat> not just not edited. Yeah. Uh, so there's still. Let me see. Um. Well, as far as the series goes, we're not going to continue shooting it. No. Yeah. But there is um, the last the last straight man. And the the man who had no TV. Those are still yet to be edited. I'm trying to get through these, and then we'll do it. Two more. Uh, do Malady. Are you guys planning on using the same house for Fish Tank Season 2? No. Or will there be a new premise? Still catching up on Season 1 with all the clips? I missed so much of it. Well, don't stress yourself too much. If you want to just relax and watch anime and play video until the actual episodic series comes out, that is going to be the master cut of fish tank uh that is coming soon season two new house you know the the premise thing that we so you said you said there was a look yeah we're doing that fully yeah. right the thing that i bounced back to you you remember what that was yeah what do you think about that i like that a lot i like the um you're talking i don't want to say it no don't say yeah, it yeah, yeah. you know the thing i know yeah, is I it like doable it. you think we could do that yeah and in fact i think we could go extra with it and convince people that that's where okay. they're actually at okay like yeah you know what i mean yeah that would be crazy that would be cool man 
Steven Novak with the Fitty. Just graduated college with a degree in accounting. I'm currently studying for my CPA license. Any tips on studying? Also, if you have any opinions on uh, accreditations, waste of time or worthwhile? I think you got to ask a uh, ask an accountant that shit. Um, but for studying, find some ambient drone music that um, you can play over and over again. And just get it, get it on. I got to see the Rage Your Dream scene here. Oh, uh, can we can we show the uh, yeah the surprise? What's the surprise? Go oh, to the thing. Uh, yeah, go to SNL Instagram. <laughs> not so not NBC SNL but this yeah. one right here where's the uh oh there we go damn If go to uh, can we go to the website? Yeah. So yeah, if you click merch shop right there, these are all fan made designs. People from the community. Maybe some of you guys made some of these. Uh, very talented people. New shirts out. Four <laughs> XL, five XL. Just in case. Oh shit! I gotta pay Christian. That reminds <laughs> me. I, <laughs> You read 5XL. That's kind of fucked up, but I want to, I want to do that because I've been forgetting. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, guys, um, the South Park fish tank, movie poster, the PSYOP hat based on the um, this Army Psychological Operations patches, the chip shirt, all that stuff. And uh, the ats for the uh, people there, that's their Twitter names. So if you like one of the designs, uh, maybe you don't even want to buy it, but just follow those artists because they made uh, really cool art all along the show. New shirts are out. Fishtank.live. Click the merch button. This is crazy. Thank you to the artists that uh, made all this stuff too. Very cool. Psyop hat. Yeah, I really want that one. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you know how much I was supposed to pay? Christian. Uh, I'll check my messages. I think it was. I don't want to say it out loud, but. I'm just going to ask him. It's crazy that you can't just uh, like pay someone with a button press. Yeah. It's like a fucking process still. You got a Western Union it. Uh, okay. Julian. Yeah. Can we get shirts at cost? For ourselves? Okay, cool. I'm gonna, I want to, um, what was it? 
There's something where one, one of some of the Clipper guys want to send them uh, merch to. We should sell a Camino's business book on the site. <laughs> yeah. We just yeah. like transcribe everything he said and then use AI to like yeah. fill like 400 pages. <laughs> uh, Acid Mouth just asked, uh, when are shirts being shipped out? They are all on the way, man. Or either in, I think yeah, they're every, out of. Every shirt is either getting ready to ship out and has been made or it's already shipped out. So anyone who bought the first round, any, any, literally every order is on the way out of production, like on the press or it's currently being shipped. DJ Top Text, thank you for joining. What's the next car you want? What do you think about this one? That's crazy. I think that's cool. Either that or a very well sorted one of these. Like a... It's crazy. I know the GTA names for cars, but mm -hmm. not the uh, real ones. Mm -hmm. That's the Ballista Compact. Yeah. Something like this. Yeah. Or... Something like this. Yeah. Holy shit. That's crazy. Be right back. <sighs> 
Sorry guys, I just need to know what these sound like. Joseph Anthony is the guy who did the uh, set design. He does want to be credited. Uh, luckily, he's got no website, so you can just remember his name, I guess. <clears throat> Chris, yes. are you planning on getting food at all? No. Oh. Let's take a look at this. The Trevor Project. This is my next car right here, guys. It's going to be sponsored by the Trevor Project. And yes, this is a Lily Allen song, okay? But this is my next car. This thing's great. You're just some racist that can't tie my laces? Look inside your tiny mind. So you say it's not okay to be gay? Well, I think you're just evil. You're just some racist who can't tie my laces. Your point of view is medieval. Fuck you. There's a hole where your soul should be. You're losing control of it, and it's really distasteful. It's people like you that need to get slew. So we...
Guys, the blue screen. Fuck. Chat here from Fifth Freedom uh, with the 25. Yo, Sam, the Premiere Pro file naming was a game changer. Could you go over how you manage your main asset library? I have a ton of good stuff that I've downloaded over the years, but it's tough to keep track of all of them. Yes. It's just a full... So the I put everything in... Uh, yeah. I, I love how we have this set up. So outside of your, like, working folder, like I'll jobs. I'll tweet a, a screen cap of this. That's the yeah. easiest way to do it. Bones the God, thank you for joining. I'm just going to tweet a screenshot of the source shit. There you go. It's on Twitter. Say, uh, save that because I'm going to take it down in 10 minutes. Um. Peen Lewinsky with the 50. Thank you. Uh, hi, Sam. Can you rant about boomers more? It's therapeutic. Uh, an example, last month, a 75-year-old narcissistic dementia boomers threatened to kick me out of the family for literally changing a light bulb without their permission. I could write a book rivaling Tim Dillon's. probably put up smart bulbs you gotta um, get them committed to an insane asylum that's the only way to keep it keep your uh, blood your the money uh, before they spend your inheritance on pain pills all right time to pay pay the man Corey Weir Hey, thank you for the 10, man. That's some control freak shit. Changing a light bulb. Causing like a big family blowout. Yeah, but you don't know. He might have done it with a passive aggressive attitude or something. Yeah. You never know with these kids. Does that seem accurate? Yeah, that's that's what I that's what he asked for from me. Mm. It's a good thing I'm so out of it. Yeah. I don't want this I don't want the stream to be too explosive, you know. But when you were out I was really going nuts. Really? Yeah, I was like really animated, wilding out. They're probably gonna clip a lot of that. When you were doing the streams without me? No, when you took a uh, oh. bathroom break. When I went to go take a shit. I was up on all fours jumping around, I was acting a fool. Yeah. They're probably gonna clip that later. They were clipping it. Yeah, they were they were they were typing clip it up and stuff in the clip, chat. Clip it up. It's kind of crazy, actually. The the blanket up stuff is kind of nuts. It's pretty. Uh, it's kind of everywhere now. Mm. And it was well, a total accident. We we didn't we ask. We created anyone. that. Right. No, so they started with bean it up. People were saying bean it up, and yeah. then. Well, I started that. You invented I, that. I invented a lot of that stuff. Yeah. And then it was jet it up and then Chris it up. Yeah. And then whenever I make a mistake, they say jet it down mm -hmm. to bully me. Mm -hmm. It's like a uh, stock tracking. Mm -hmm. But the final evolution is chike it up. Yeah. I don't know what can even come after that. Clop it up. Probably kike it up a little bit. Kite? <laughs> like flying kite? Kite it up? 
Yeah. Guys, what's the next blanket up? Stream it up. There we go. <laughs> Ban it up. <laughs> Lachlan M with the 31 Australian. Hey, Sam. Uh, work hired a new graduate, and I'm responsible for training her in a new skill set. Any advice on training them up quickly and getting them good at what I do? Yeah. We call that sexy training protocol. Yeah. Anytime you get a, you know. You just gotta go into work to train a female. <laughs> it's one of those days. You just make sure if you have a girlfriend, just tell her, yeah, baby, I gotta go train a female. Mm -hmm. to do it the way I do it. It's for work. It's for work, though. Shh, don't worry about it. That's called Dread Game. You ever practice Dread Game? No. Cool. Should I practice that? What is that? Yeah, why not? Is that a finger measurer? Oh, yeah, you, measure, you gotta measure your finger right here. Finger, Caliper. Finger girth device? Yeah. Where's my hat that I like? Not this one. Not this one. Um, train it up. Train it up. You got to train her up. Yeah, train her up. The skill set thing you're talking about is a little broad. You just said you need to train her in a skill set. What skill? Now, I'm not just baiting another super chat here. Is, is, it is didn't a little say, big. Didn't he say it was pleasuring a man? Yeah. I think he specifically... You just got to show her what you like. He said that it was training to pleasure a man. That's what you said, right, dude? He yeah, said that. that's pretty easy. Just make sure, make sure that uh, she signs the paperwork. <sighs> There's apps for that. There's an app for that. Stars and Cats. Is there a new dating app? Hey, Stars and Cats, thank you for uh, making it, man. What is Hinge what people use for dating? Yeah. yeah. And why is it why is that different than Tinder now? Because um, Tinder's because blown. When you come back, you can see more of someone's like personality. And uh, it's required for that app to be able to see the profile pictures of the You get more of their personality? Yeah, you get more of their profile pictures and personality. Chris, are you on Hinge? Yeah, Everybody's on Hinge. Yeah, you want Hinge? Yeah. <laughs> Can I see your profile? Do you have it on your phone? No, I don't want to show you. I gotta see. No, I can't show Bro, you. Please. <laughs> I can't show you. I haven't used it in months. Oh. But I do have it. Chris, do you have a Hinge profile? Yeah, we were, we were, we were always the same. Yeah. yeah. Hinge, is, Hinge is the new meta over Tinder because girls can pretend to not be S word. Oh, yeah. They're good girls on there. Yeah, they're good girls. Just friend dates. Hinge it up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> New date unhinged. It's for base dating. Marga dating. Plenty of fish tank. <laughs> <laughs> Chat's funny. You guys are funny. Jacob Tui has joined Zombie Biker Badass. How much a month is that? Thousand. Thousand a month. Thank you, bro. <laughs> I forgot what all the tiers cost. I don't even know. Yeah, me too. But hey, that's, I know that's above Freak Monster Nasty. We know so, it's an investment. Yeah, we know it's worth it. Thank you, man, for real. Chat it up. Zombie chiker badass. <laughs> They're telling me to delete my little gay app.
You gonna do workout streams? I don't know. I feel I'm feeling the itch though. The itch to work out. To get in a physical form once again. Yeah. Yeah. Feeling the itch. I'm wondering about influencer Muay Thai. Yeah. If that's a thing. Aren't they doing bare knuckle? They're doing influencer bare knuckle. Fights? Yeah, they are. Which. I don't know if I necessarily care about that so much. Blech. Aaron A uh, says, hey boys, just had my first day plumbing in the shop for now, but should be in the union and on site soon if I'm not an idiot. Thanks for the positive vibes and the parasocial relationship. Hey man. You're welcome. Aaron, we know you on a first name basis. And I consider you a personal friend. We were just talking about him. Yeah. We were saying that this whole the operation would fall apart. We're in a Discord together, me and him. Yeah. But yeah, man, he make that e money. I don't use Discord. He just emails me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if he, he has told something... told me you guys were talking, though. Yeah, yeah. He emailed you that, but if he has something important enough that needs your attention... No, no, no. He'll no. tell me in the Discord, and then I'll come to your desk and tell he'll you He'll text me stuff. He'll be like, listen, I know Jet's sensitive about this topic. Let's just talk about it here on text. He's been saying that he, about well, me? Well, not in so many words, no, but I know that's what is... That's why he's making me use WhatsApp. Okay, yeah. What's his name again? Fucking Brian? <laughs> <laughs> he's Aaron, the plumber. From Aaron. The Czech Republic. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up, man? Shiki with the 25. Sam, uh, probably already know, but did you see that Joe Bernstein actually got a job at the New York Times? Also, favorite Eurobeat song? Have you explored the older Super Eurobeat albums? Um, he's been at the New York Times for a minute, hasn't he? Um, no More Sleep in Tokyo, whatever that song is. Uh... Stay? Is everyone called Stay? <clears throat> we, we can play copyrighted fucking Tokyo Drift music, right? Mm, wow, my shoulder is killing no, me. What I don't the think we fuck? can. <coughs> How do I fix this? Chris, can you come fix Sam's arm? I think I gotta, I think I gotta, go, gotta go see somebody. Go see Chris. guy makes house calls. I don't want to go all the way out to fucking Attleboro. If I was going to do a Muay Thai fight, an influencer Muay Thai fight, is there somebody that's not that good that I could beat up? I don't know. I feel like finding your, your boxing matchup was already hard enough. There's not so many, like, big guys. Who's a big guy that would, do, would be willing to do a Muay Thai fight? Hassan Chiker. It's not a 22-year-old black guy. Oh. Man, my shoulder is in pain. You gotta go see the doc. Sam, I'm gonna need you to get, this is from Harmony. Thank you for the 25. Sam, I'm gonna need you to get your sheet together and save these kids' minds from the globalist globies. Also, go read your Bible. Don't let my 25 bucks go to waste. Thanks. Quoted by Harms. That's crazy. Ending your super chat in a quote. <laughs> I don't know what the hell any of that means, but yeah. Harmony. Oh, wow. Isn't he a big streamer? Yeah. He does the political streams. Harmony. Yeah. I think he had you on before. Mm -hmm. Harmony. I remember that. Busto97 with the 25. If y'all end up doing the commissary idea for Fish Tank 2, they could be funny to force all the fish to carry their belongings in a red mesh see-through bag like inmates have to use in Texas prisons. Fish toy to steal commissary funds? That would be cool. They should, there should be a lunch lady. And uh, mandatory lunchtime with a bell. Mmm.
think I have a shoulder impingement. From just lift, lifting the weights just then? It pinched or no, something? No, no. Ha- I think I've had it for like 10 years. I think I've had a shoulder impingement for 10 years. I need to figure out how to not make it rotten with pain. What's the play for that? Somebody uh, else I has gotta something f- similar. I got to find somebody knowledgeable. I have no idea. Lachlan M. with a 31 Australian. Thank you, sir. He says, I work in small business marketing agency. Nothing sus, Sam. No Bill Griefer tactics here. How did you train the MDE clan so good at their work? Um, we did a lot of we did a lot of diversity and pride mm-hmm. counseling. That's primary. That's mostly all of it. I like to enable people with pride. I empower them. Yeah. And, a lot um, of meetings. Yeah, a lot of talking about gay stuff. And that usually the stream crashed when I was looking at a gay pride Porsche. Really? Yeah, and I was saying this is gonna be my next car. It's gonna be this gay pride Porsche. And then God punished crashed. you by crashing yeah. the stream. Probably. <laughs> I remember when I first got here, it was uh, the Happy World Daddy, like, crunch season, Mm -hmm. which, speaking of crunch, I was watching some video on, like, Rockstar Games, like, video essay, and this fucking idiot YouTuber was talking about Rockstar Games change their culture of crunch, and I, I was thinking about when I first started working here with Happy World Daddy, it was crunch, and it was awesome. Yeah, and it was crunch fun. is good. It's really fun. Yeah, I was I was thinking like um, in the far out future, Fish Tank is successful, mm-hmm. and maybe we have new employees, mm-hmm. and they start bitching about crunch. I was just thinking about how angry that would make me. Someone would fire some somebody's ass. Yeah, fire and hurt. <clears throat> yeah. All the best times were crunch. Yeah. Gotta get back into that. Literally, like, not no. going home. Mm. Doing Happy World Daddy until 5 a.m. I was like, um, how I learned was, how I learned everything was just sitting right where I am now, sitting next to Sam and him showing me how After Effects works, showing me Premiere, hotkeys, just uh, shadowing. That's how I learned personally. But Yeah, and we did a lot of, um, let me pull it up real quick. Oh, I gotta reinstate the fucking browsing mode. Yeah. Good God. You gotta reinstall. <laughs> Look at the camera; it's all to the side over there. Good God. <laughs> crunch it up. Yeah, yeah guys, crunch it up. Crunch it up right here. This oh, this song's nuts. Oh, this was the car I was saying. See, it crashes again. <laughs> gotta close out of that real quick. Um. Fuck, what was I just thinking? You know what I was just thinking. Nope. Mm. Oh, it's something to do with crunch? Crunch? Oh, yeah. This is, um, guys, the most important... Listen, if you want to get... I was good. about to say, this video helped me a lot, too. Wait, are you being serious? Yes. Oh, yeah, really? The video, that one with the green screen, him kicked back. This one? Yeah. Oh. That's the one you showed me. I was going to say it ironically. It helped. I watched it in full and took notes. Okay. Well, never mind. <laughs> this video's good. I'll just go back to the gay test. Yeah. <laughs> Why does everyone get recommended the gay test? It's just this browser. This browser's doomed. That's what it, it's like a um a browser without cookies or without, without a, a cache. I mean it, no, it has it has I think it just all the shit we've been looking at, it like accumulates. Yeah. Well, I got the gay test on my computer too. Well, now we're just gonna have to take the gay test every day. Could also be because I'm looking at picture, uh, Fiat 500. <laughs> yeah. It's got a little something to do with it. Hey, Harmony. Uh, thank you for the ten there. Harmony says, I'm a girl. Nice. All yeah. right, bro. Yeah, I bet. Fist bump. 
<laughs> Alright, bet, dude. Dap me. Yeah, dap me up. So sick. Car it up. Yeah. That's cool. That's Need good. One of these. Yellow's a good color sometimes. That sounds like shit though. Anyway. Pangamot or bare hand techniques on how to defend knife attack. That's perfect. Oh my god. It comes from the domestic violence and it's engaged with knife fighting. Due to this problem to protect oneself is now becoming necessity. Here are the demonstration on how to protect yourself from a knife attack. You want to catch the knife in your mouth with your teeth. You want to shoot the knife out of the attacker's hand. Do you like active self-protection in this channel? Man, can you imagine being in a real knife fight? Oh, Holy I'd rather be in a gunfight any day. Good God. Yeah, you don't want to get stabbed. That's not a good idea. Jacob, thank you, sir, for the five. <laughs> Russian Sistema. <laughs> oh man, yeah, you don't want to get in a knife fight. That would be fucked up. These guys are so weird. This guy right here. Doug Marqueda, like American first name, Filipino last name, and his, th it's this guy right here, like this guy's face. Like that guy is a guy. Yeah. Guru Doug Marqueda the demonstrates guru. the uses of the Karambit blade. And this expression on his face too, like he's, he's got the guy in this, he's using his Karambit on this guy's elbow. He's got an expression on. Look at this guy. <laughs> My name is Doug Markaida. I am a Filipino martial arts practitioner, and I have deep roots in the Kikitari, Damn. and Barako Batangir Nobalison. What we're going to be doing today is presenting the art of the Karambe. The echo. <laughs> yeah. I got started with uh, initially with Omar Hakim when I saw Hakim Tersha. I learned the other facets of Pekiti through Bill McGrath and Tom Bezio before graduating on the Grand Tuhan Leo Gahe, the head of the system. I also have roots with uh, Kali Dalyon under Master Guru of Jun Dalyon and the Barako Batangen, which is not really. I need to hire this guy to clean up Kennedy Plaza. Yeah. <laughs> used as a farming tool rather than a particular weapon. But when introduced to me by my <laughs> teachers, we started looking at the Karambit. Oh, I got, a we got a 50 weapon. from Chinkrack. Thank you so much. Um, Sam, if you Chink had any- Chinkrack? Chinkrack. Chinkrack. Chinkrack? Chinkrack. It's like, it's like a rack of chinks. <laughs> Yo, Chinkrack, thank you for the 50 euros there. Uh, Sam, if you had infinite money, who would be some dream music guest for World Peace 2? Chike it up, lads. Well, I'd have a dream streaming guest, which would be the dream. Mm -hmm. Unmasked. Unmasked, in the nude, getting knifed by Doug Markaida. 
That would be my dream. But if I couldn't have that, I'd say ACDC. Because you're a real rock and roll head. I just love rock. Look at what he does here. Or used as a farming tool rather this than... This guy, and then going... Look, 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 and I'm looking. See this? And then, like, by my teachers, getting and pulling his face like that? Oh. Like, cooperative. I'm, that's, some, that's something about that, like, does something to me. Like, seeing people in situations, like, cooperative. Yeah. Whatever that is. You remember when um, in Fish Tank I went three, two, one, sleep? Yeah, yeah. That's like, yeah, yeah. And it never, listen, I've done, that, I've done that a few times on camera where I'll go three, two, one, sleep, and then do whatever. And it's never funny. It never, like, people don't get what that's about. No, nah, it's good. I just, I like I'm that. doing it just to satisfy my own, like, I think that would be so awesome. Yeah. I think there's just something so awesome about it. And even if the person doesn't cooperate, yeah. like, doing that to a girl especially, like, snap, <laughs> snapping and pushing their head back. It's like when three, two, one, sleep. When the person you're like attacking is is like using more energy to cooperate with your yeah. fight than you're what you are like putting on them, mm -hmm. like twisting someone's wrist and then they flip. Yeah. Bobby Taboada. Travis Bickle with the twenty. Sam, uh, you could Today fight Charlie Vich. He's six four, six five, and has experience using martial arts on homeless crackheads around Manchester. Yeah, that. It also needs to be somebody. Um, the big name is this the guy that doesn't pay taxes? This is the, I think this is a guy that doesn't doesn't pay taxes in the UK. I feel like I've seen this guy before. That's interesting. private account says my father recently passed away and I've been lost ever since I'm 25 I'm a fiber optic cable slicer I lost over a hundred pounds and I've got my own place but I still feel pretty hopeless and lost in the world do you have any advice for me there's a time and a place to become a mercenary fighting in Ukraine and it sounds like you've reached that thought. what is this is really again I'm 25 my father passed away I'm a fiber optic cable slicer. I lost over 100 pounds since he died. Uh, I've got my own place, but I still feel pretty hopeless and lost in the world. Any advice? Well, oh shit. He just knocked that kid out. He's trying to get him with a knife. Chain attack. Look at this. Yes. Kill him. Um, That hurts bad. Hmm. 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 How do they defend against the punch? I like the thing you said about, um, like uh, 
knowing that you're whoever whoever you you've lost doesn't want you to be sad about them being gone. They just want you to go harder, like go harder for them. I think that's the best way. But I, mean, I haven't lost. Listen, finding feel, being being lost and not having any bearings as a young man. That's like the hardest. Uh, that's uh, potentially the hardest thing you'll ever have to deal with. It's not even necessarily just that you lost your father, but um, just being feeling rudderless or uh, directionless in your mid twenties. Um, that's kind of the age where you realize how uh, potentially hopeless that if, you, if you're early 20s or you're in your late teens and you're rudderless or directionless it's still fun but once you get into your mid 20s and you're directionless or feeling lost you're more cognizant of how uh, hopeless that situation potentially could be so that's very uh, that's a tight spot um, but I think you might just have to suffer. Um, that those those feelings, you know, those those will go away once you um, <clears throat> if you avoid drugs and alcohol, and you you try to be reasonably um, sort of aware of what paths the f your future might. Uh, like as, as long as you're not ignoring the consequences of whatever sort of drudgery or, or th thing it is, uh, a state that you're caught in, you'll end up fine. But there's, there's some things where you just have to suffer through them. There's not really a trick or any kind of um, thing that any, anybody can say um, to uh, make, you, make you feel better or give you any kind of perspective. I think if you're 25 and you are um, rudderless and your dad just died, that you probably just life, your life sucks and you're just going to have to um, suffer through it until your until, uh, you know the, your fortunes change or the tide changes, which it inevitably d uh, will so just remember that you know, time heals all wounds that uh, a life really does change and um do the best that you can and don't don't turn to substances or any any kind of empty crap to uh, fill that hole you know be comfortable with the fact that there's a hole there um, that's what I would say about that Jacob Tui says how much for a monthly sub for you to mentor me in financial stability business growth and muscle gain I would do whatever you said if it meant becoming successful enough to build my business and get a house one hundred thousand dollars a month One hundred million. If you can fix my shoulder, though, I'll, do, I'll trade. We'll just do a flat trade. Mentor. See, people. I offer people sometimes. You could either have five hundred thousand dollars cash or dinner with me. Yeah. And they, when they take the cash, it really pisses me off because the dinner with me is worth way more. Yeah. Because I give out such good, crazy, good advice. It's just nuts. Well, you learn how to build a whole business empire. Talking to me. Would you rather? I'd rather be, teach him Sistema, though. Would you rather be in an elite social circle in the USA? In the USA, yeah. Or have some petty cash that you're just gonna waste? Nah. Oh, that was the shit right there. Yeah. This guy just lets him beat his his friend. Just lets him beat him up all day. If I had a backyard, I'd be doing this shit all day. <laughs> Fact da authority and she. Hey man, thank you for the 25. You need to change your Google name because I don't know how to read your name. And it pisses me off every time because it's just these Daedric characters, these they Skyrim rooms. took down this eight-foot-tall guy. Look at this. 
you guys should do this to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. You and Chris should do this to me. Oh, oh my god. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Alright, three, two, one. Let's get him. He's got a backpack on? Oh my god. Did a twirl. Spy with a 25. I bought a 100 pound punching bag two weeks ago after being inspired by some of your streams. I've been practicing and watching YouTube videos for technique. Just wanted to say thank you for the motivation. You too, Jet. Hey. Nice, man. Appreciate it. Get in there. Beat it up. Alexander Herland with a 25. Thank you, man. Thank you for the generosity. Sam, your life advice aligns pretty well with Buddhism, in my experience. Yeah, Universal right. truths tend to be found everywhere, though. Do you have any experience with Buddhism? Nah, fuck that. Shit. What about all this incense on your desk? <laughs> yeah, I do smoke a lot of incense. <sighs> well, you have that little, uh, those Buddhist statues on the... Mm -hmm. On the hood of your raptor. Mmm, that's true. I forgot and about that. the little fountain. Yeah. In your center console. Those are just African fertility statues. This is what I need. I wonder how much leg room you can get in these things. You can get leg extenders, or you can get your legs shortened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to fit inside. I'll do that. They do the surgeries in uh, in Brazil mm -hmm. where they can extend your bones, but mm -hmm. you can actually get your bones clipped right here in Florida. <laughs> yeah, get them clipped. Uh, oh yeah. Shiking it. Shake it up, down, all around. Cleaning up that uh, the website doc. I had a one of Wes's ideas. I think we should really do. I don't want to say it yet because spoilers, but I'm very excited for it. I want to tell you as soon as the stream's done. You guys will like it if it works out. When does Fish Tank merch ship? Um, as soon as the order comes in, it goes right to production, and then it goes right in a box. So as quick as possible. Another thing about uh, the guy whose dad passed away, losing 100 pounds. Um, I don't know if that's a good, is that a good 100 pound I, loss or a bad 100 pound loss? I think loss? I'm, I'm read it in a way where it sounds like he lost weight out of like depression or like being wrecked. Yeah. But I think it might be like a self, I think he probably meant it in a self improvement okay. way. Well, that's good then. Like he was listing off things he was doing right, but he right. still felt bad in that yeah, context. Yeah. Nah, just wait it out. Life sucks. Sometimes, but don't stress it. This is Buddhist. With that right there, oh, yin-yang, yeah, nice. Yeah. There you go. Have you seen Train to Busan, the Korean no. movie? It's crazy. I watched it last night. Has anybody seen Train to Busan? I'm done with these English whitey cracker movies. You love Korean movies. Well, I like K-pop. I like, uh, I have my favorite idols, my favorite Korean Kino. We call it Korean Kino. This is not Taoist, it's Buddha. This is called the Buddha, the Buddha room, the Buddha circle. Train to Busan, not train to Hassan. <laughs> If they had a train to Hassan, we'd be on it. Hey, 
Hey, look, the Kino Corner pops in and says Train to Busan is fun. There we go. Kino knows. Kino's seen every movie. I miss uh, I miss the days of Dawn of the Dead and all the uh, like 28 days and shit. Train to Busan was fun. The Voodoo Doll with the 300 Norwegian Kronar. Red Julius Avola, hashtag TND, hashtag TND. Love you guys. Thanks for all the good times over the years. Much love from Kingdom of Norway. Hey, thank you. Thank you, sir. And Horse, uh, thank you for being a member for so long. I see the little icon with the 25. Some hot, hot hatches here. What about the Renault Clio V6? Those are cool, too. <clears throat> I like that... Uh little racing one, whatever that one's called. The V6 Clio. The fuck is it? Cup? Trophy, that's what they call it. I like that Clio trophy. Want me one, want me one of them's. Can you get those cars in the US? Uh, no, I don't think really, no. Mm. You have to get them. I think if it's, if it's over 25 years old, but I think the Clio is not that. Um, Alexander Herlon with the 25 here. Buddhism guy again. Just sending another 25 because the outcome <coughs> independence speech Sam did is a banger. More people need to live by it. Respect. Thank you, homie. You're inventing your own white Buddhism. That's what it is. All right, now hold off. Let's do, can we do chats in batches? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Hit this last one, and then we'll yeah, start yeah. doing that. Steel ain't dead with the 50. Sam and Jet both. Do either of you have experience with SSide in your lives? I had a friend take their own life four months ago, and I'm the one who found them. The PTSD and guilt is still overwhelming day to day. Drinking to forget is making me empty. Yeah, well, you better stop drinking, man, because that's not helping you yeah it's extremely dumb and uh yeah you gotta stop that i know i should be sympathetic to whatever you're going through but it's you can't drink it's not uh it's gonna ruin your life so stop immediately yeah, you just gotta <clears throat> body the pain raw yeah just let it happen just suck it and also um I don't think it's helpful to mythologize your own suffering, like to make it like, uh, yeah, I, you, I know that's bad if your friend killed themselves and you found the body. I get that that's bad, but like, I think a lot of people, if that, if something like that happens to them, it becomes part of this like canon of lore of yeah. all the things that have happened to me. And, um... Unless you're, like, going to go get revenge right now, none of that is really relevant or helpful to you. It's just fucking um, it's just baggage that you have to, you can't, you cannot, like, be telling yourself this story over. That's what people do. They tell themselves the story over and over again. Like, they wake up in the morning and it's... It's, I, w I woke up this morning, but my friend who killed himself didn't wake up this morning. How am I going to go on with my day being guilty when he can't do the same? Like, it's just your day starts with repeat, like going over the bullet points of your own trauma. Uh, and it's, a, it's like a, partially, it's, I'm sure it's a selfish, like vanity uh, type thing. I mean, it has to be. Otherwise, why would it? I think I think it feels good for people to do that. That shit is uh, you, that's not good for you though. You have to eject that immediately. Find a find a way to honor your friend or uh, you know mourn him that doesn't involve drinking. <clears throat> I'm gonna get drunk. Something bad happened. I'm gonna get drunk. Road to Ruin. All right, so. Wow, fellas, what are we thinking? Jim, who do you have your eye on? Tony. 
What are we thinking here, man? Talk to me. All right. Brad, talk to me, brother. Which one of these hotties are you taking home? Eric can interject at any time if he senses a male contestant is shy. Hey, man. Liven up a little. We want to see your personality. All right, ladies. Round one of elimination. Round one. Preliminary questions. Which one of these daddies has what it takes to dom you? <laughs> and it's Zephyr, Vivian, and Bambi. Zephyr, let's start with you. Zephyr, let's start with you. Daddy number one, what type of presents and toys would you buy me if I was a good girl? <laughs> All right, we got to rank these questions from mild to extreme. I've always wanted to wear a dog collar and have someone walk me around the mall on a leash. Do you think you'd have the courage to do that for me? <laughs> I think it'd be really hot for us to watch porn together. What kind of porn would we watch? This one is an online dating game show. Male contestants should be Googled ahead of time. ABDL, a gothic letter, nothing ugly sexual. This is partially unscripted bit, starts with scripted intro. Male contestants don't have lines. Producer Eric, who is there to spur the men on and get them to say wilder shit slash encourage them. The contestants are disgusting. Hot baby girl is psycho hot. On the left are three real Daddy Dom contestants. <laughs> 10 out of 10, smoking hot babe. Oh, yeah, I gotta put that part in. Okay. So we got the girls coming in. Last but not least. What's the best thing about dating a guy who cuts himself? Is it hard to find guys who aren't pedos? Do you smoke cigarettes? Talk about what drugs slash drinking you do. Bambi, host. Mind if I pick you up by the neck? Two new members, Tom Cook. And all films. Thank you, guys. Severe beasts, both of you. Maximilian with the 20 bam. Sam, try doing face pulls to fix shoulder impingement. Hmm. Uh, for proper form, check out your favorite Muay Thai influencer, Athlean X. Also, Eric Bugenhagen has some good stuff on shoulder health. Stay healthy. Hmm. I'll try some face pulls. Bambi, you're smoking hot. Mind if I pick up your body by holding you by your neck? That was amazing. Bambi, it says here you work at Petco. You run a junk store on Depop. Is that the size of Depop, yeah, right? Yeah, Depop. Bambi, it says here you work at Petco. You run a junk store on Depop. Have Crohn's. 
collect animal skulls and <laughs> mandala flags. And you're looking for a daddy to keep you diapered up and cozy all year round. <laughs> this is a dating show. It's America's Next Top Daddy Dom is the name of the show. You're looking for a daddy to keep you diapered up all year round. Well, I can't <laughs> wait to see which one of these daddies gets you, gets to take you home as the prize. Roboman2444 says, I have a good friend do the SSRI five plus years ago and I felt responsible. The SSI. Uh, the guilt sometimes leaves me with bad nights, but with time it just fades away. Stay positive and keep away from the booze. It gets better with time. Yeah. You're not responsible for somebody else killing themselves. That's not... Uh, well, I guess you could be. But you're probably not. That's pretty rare if you actually yeah. were responsible for that. Yeah. But I think you'd have to be saying some pretty hardcore stuff. Yeah, you have to be, to really be doing some hardcore bullying. Yeah. Now, I've just got to pull your hair as hard as I can, real quick. <laughs> Bambi, you are smoking hot. Do you mind if I pick you up by your neck? Lift you up off the floor. Just real quick. Thank you, that was amazing. Bambi, it says here you work at Petco. You run a junk store on Depop. You have crones. You collect animal skulls and mandala flags. And you're looking for a daddy to keep you diapered up and cozy all year round. Well, I can't wait to see which one of these daddies gets to take you home as a prize. Now, fellas, talk to me. What are we thinking here? Shakshar Ali, thank you for the five, man. All right. Fuck, this is such a fucking mess, keeping this shit organized. Okay. Um, fellas, say hello to Zephyr. Smiles close on her one on one interview with Zephyr. You smoke cigarettes, blah blah blah. <laughs> Zephyr, interesting name. Your parents must have been fun. It says here, it says here, actually wait, can I slap you across the face as hard as I can? Okay. <laughs> okay. It says here, you can't cook, you can't even make tea, you can't cook. You can't even make, you don't even know how to make tea. You mostly eat Chinese food and Pop-Tarts. And you love small animals as pets, but they always die early because you don't take care of them. You have arthritis. And you go to community college. And you dropped out of community college. And you only have 12 credits left to finish community college two-year program. How many credits is a...
60 credits to earn an associate's degree. And you have 15 credits left to get your associate's... What's the most bitch-ass associate's degree? Most common. <laughs> Nursing. Nursing would be too responsible. Nah, yeah. Business communication. Information technology. What the fuck do you do with a communication degree? That's a... Communication might be too on it because it's like so obviously absurd useless. shit. Yeah, but I've heard mad people have yeah. communication degrees. Fashion merchandising. Yeah, that one popped out at me too. Apparel design's pretty good. Yeah. And you have 15 credits left to get your associate's degree from a community college. Associate's degree in apparel design from community college. Ooh, I wish I was your boyfriend, but that would be a conflict of interest. So you'll just have to go home with one of these chads. Suit Sprite, thank you for joining. Got another one here from the Voto Doll. Uh, if you're into good Asian horror, you should watch Audition 1999, Cure 1997, or Cairo 2001. Also, David Lynch, if you want something to scratch your head to. I screenshotted those, but I hate David Lynch movies. I don't like them. David Lynch movies are ass. Yeah, they're super retarded. It's almost like creative writing. <laughs> creative writing, oh my god. I feel like the... This character would have a Depop account if she was actually into apparel design. You know, what's, you know what NaNoWriMo is? No. It's like National... Uh, National Novel Writing Month? The month where you're supposed to write your novel. So if you search Twitter for NaNoWriMo, you'll get some real <laughs> yeah, motherfucking yeah, imagine. dogs coming up. NaNoWriMo. Oh. Uh, look at all those ugly faces that just came up. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Oh. Look at okay. that. Oh, we got to pull that up. Oh, Nick Roachford. Not a racial slur. My friend's name. Fucking. Bro. Are we, can we get on Twitter on this, on this browser? Are we fucking. I think we can do that. <clears throat> Come on, it's man. It's not logged in, though. You can still search. Come what? on. Elon. I'm streaming. I can just log into my Twitter as long as there's anything. Yeah. Uh. Ah, bitch. Cock. Uh, yeah, cock. How do I log in? Sign in to Twitter. Jason Goldstriker. Oh. What? Oh, uh, that was just your code. Never mind. It's not, a, it's not a broadcast anyway. 
Yo, gay pride has got to go. To the White House. And it's there. They hung up a flag. We're moving in. Come on, man. Shashkar Ali, thank you for joining. <laughs> I love that clip. Johnny Somali. Guy needs to be. This right here. Look at this. So this is National Novel Writing Month. So if you participate, if you think that you're going to write a novel in a month, let alone you're going to write a novel. Okay. I'm going to write a novel. I'm going to somehow expound upon the Western canon of literature. Yeah. Somehow. But look at this. Yeah, Cynthia's going to do physiognomy it. Physiognomy check failed. Yep. Cynthia. Is <laughs> there a guy? NaNoWriMo. She won? She's a winner. Yeah. There we go. There it is. Fascism. I'm beginning my literary agent research and I'm freaking out at considering my writing as outstanding, game-changing, and life-altering. To me, it's fun beach fodder. I'm having a serious bout of imposter syndrome and want to give up. Hashtag cozy mystery. Man, they really pump these bitches out. They must be a factory where they... A factory where they make these nuts... White women... Jared Doe Walter with the 2498. Hey, you're two pennies short, buddy. So I'm not reading it. He says, Have you guys ever considered directing a UFO slash alien gaslight psyop, trick local news like the recent Vegas happening? With your reality production and VFX skills, I bet a lot of people would buy it, but leave hints for us. Guys, let's let's retire the chef's kiss just as a favor to me. Just you personally, please don't use it anymore. Was the Vegas thing uh, fake? The whole call and everything? The, uh, There's a recent... Mandalay Bay shooting? Yes. The Vegas UFO sighting? Yeah. Yeah. This is... This is F.A. letter, yeah. squiggly letter shit. <gasps> is it this one? Yeah. 
doc oh my god, the doctor's weighing in. The News Nation one. Where's uh uh like the second uh, there. Yeah. there was like a call that some guy saw two there's it was on camera. There's like a big blue thing that fell out of the sky. And then there was a call saying they a guy saw two ten foot aliens, and then the cops pulled up, and they didn't find anything. Probably should have two ten foot gay guys. No offense. Oh, the call is so convincing. There's the thing falling out. Of the sky. Whoa! I wonder if they have lightsabers. I wonder if they have lightsabers, guys. <laughs> I think these are two aliens right here. There they are. From planet Spicko. Planet Ching Chong. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Pretty cool. The police took 39 minutes to respond and would have just ignored it if not for another officer seeing it. Just goes to show how many cases probably weren't taken seriously. Hmm. Man, this is going to be big. Eerie. People it's are so eager to eat this crazy. shit up. Crazy. It's like a revival of the old, like, early YouTube... Alien and ghost videos. I don't buy it. It's all Project Bluebeam bullshit. I want to see a Fiat 500 with a Hayabusa engine flying through the sky. Then I'll believe that it's real. Then I'll be making a, a purchase. Tower X with the 25. Uh, thank you and everyone for supporting me as the Orange Shark and the only producer of Fish Tank Volume 1. I'm excited for you all to see that I've got, been cooking up for Fish Tank 2, which will be pro produced and run by me and me only. There we go, Tower X, Orange Shark, the true shadow boss. Mm. We need a pink shark. It's just a, a super gay, a super gay shark. You get the gay shark in there. He's touching everybody. <laughs> yeah, like rubbing people's backs. <laughs> yeah. Just crossing the line constantly. Man, people do such weird shit with cars. <clears throat> Drag racing Fiat Topolino. Weird. Uh. Mo, 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 mo with the 25. I think Hollywood, CIA, and U.S. PSYOP divisions have spent more than enough time and money PSYOPing the population on aliens and UFOs for over 100 years at this point. Mm. You know the end game, though. Mm. Oh, shit. They're going to hologram in a Fiat Topolino. Mm. Mm. Now, what do you say about this little ditty? It looks really cool. What do you think about that? Well, keep going through pictures? Hey. I can just trade in my car for this, right? You could, yeah, it's a direct trade. Mm. 
Yeah, it's super pretty. Mm. I just do it. Oh, yeah. Writing my novel. Also, if you search Twitter for writing my novel, mad cringe shit comes up. It's crazy looking. Zephyr, interesting name. Your parents must have been fun. It says here... Actually, wait. Can I slap you across the face as hard as I can? Okay. It says here you can't cook. You don't even know how to make tea. You mostly eat Chinese food and Pop-Tarts. And you love small animals as pets, but they always die early because you don't take care of them. You have arthritis, and you have 15 credits left to get your associate's degree in apparel design from community college. Ooh, I wish I was your boyfriend, but that would be a conflict of interest, so you'll just have to go home with one of our chads. With one of our alpha chads. <clears throat> Guy's reaction. Contestant number two, Vivian. Feast your eyes, guys. This one's Chinese. Will she love you long time? We'll have to see. <clears throat> interview one-on-one -on -one interview questions with Vivian. What style are you looking for? What style are you looking for in a daddy? Vivian. What a stunning. I have got to pull your hair. <laughs> Perfect. So Viv. All right, I need more. What's another like depressing girl? Like all that shit, like loser shit. Um... exist solely on a diet of Rolaids and Coke Zero. You live in You live in your crust punk band's music practice space. Your interests are true crime true crime YouTube videos and and you like reptiles you like weird pets we already hit the pets one yeah what a stunning young woman I have gotta pull your hair Perfect. So, Vivian, you exist solely on a diet of Rolaids and Coke Zero. You live in your crust punk band's music practice space. And you drive a... And your goal in life is to be a van conversion blogger. <laughs> and you hope one day... to be able to afford a van so that you can be full-time van life blogger. Producers tell me your teeth are rotting. <laughs> we 
What's that implant, birth control implant? And your IUD. Our producers tell me your teeth are rotting and your body is rejecting your last IUD. Yeah. And your body is currently rejecting your last IUD. And your body is... And your body is rejecting your IUD. How do you even say that smoothly? And your body's rejecting your IUD, which is causing a whole bunch of UTIs. You're a walking alphabet. <laughs> yeah. And your body's rejecting your IUD, which is causing... Painful UTIs. TMI? That's funny. TMI much? <laughs> and your body's rejecting your IUD, which is causing a string of painful UTIs. Vivian, you're a walking alphabet. TMI? <laughs> Guys clapping. Sam going behind and rubbing one of their shoulders. And last but not least, coming in at four foot ten, so somebody check her ID. It's Bambi. Gentlemen, let's hope one of you is gonna get lucky today. Bambi, you're smoking hot. Mind if I pick you up by your neck? <laughs> that was amazing. Bambi, it says here you work at Petco, you run a junk store at Depop, have crones, collect animal skulls and mandala flags, and you're looking for a daddy to keep you diapered up and cozy all year round. Well, I can't wait to see which one of these daddies gets to take you home as a prize. Now, fellas, talk to me. What are we thinking? Brian, who do you have your eye on? All right, Justin, what are we thinking here, my guy? Which one of these girls gets the prize? All right, Ethan, talk to me, brother. Which one of these hotties are you taking home? Go. Eric, producer, comes in. Hey, man, you got to liven up a little bit. We want to see your personality. Don't be shy. All right, ladies. Round one, preliminary questions. Which daddy has what it takes to dom you? Zephyr, let's start. Let's start with your questions. <clears throat> Zephyr. Oh God, this is... Blah, 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 blah. Well, you're in luck. Brian, who do you have your eye on, my guy? Fantastic. And why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Scott, what are we thinking here? Very cool. I can vibe with that. And Scott, what's your deal? Job, education, skills, anything you want to talk about. What's your selling point? Give me your selling points. Mail three. Talk to me, brother. Which one of these hotties are you taking home? Oh, yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about. Ethan, you're the handsome one of the bunch, so you barely got to say or do anything, but anything special you want these girls to know?
This is crazy. It's crazy how this is such a simple setup. It's like there's it's not there's nothing to this, but you have to think about every like thinking about the way it flows, you know, and like uh, like little little pieces that if they were missing, it wouldn't the flow would break, and then all this stuff has to be written on cue cards and shit too. Now that's what I'm talking about. And Ethan, you're the handsome one here, so you barely got to say or do anything. But anything special you want these girls? Anything special you want these girls to know? Yes, I work in IT. All right, ladies, round one, preliminary questions. Zephyr, the ball's in your court. Or I should say the daddy's in your BDSM dungeon. Um, questions, blah, 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 blah. What would you do to me if I was a bad girl? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are the actors, are they going to have to come up with answers to these questions? So the guys are, they're not in on the joke. Okay. The girls is going to be Letty and yeah. then two other actresses who are in on the joke. Okay, yeah. And so, like, Letty's going to be like, my last daddy was a U.S. Marine and a bodybuilder gun nut who's a total psycho. How would you protect me against him? He drives by apartment my by my apartment some nights, and I don't. But I don't call anyone though. And like the guys are just gonna be like slobs. Yeah, yeah. Who are actually into BDSM? Oh, okay, really? Yeah, yeah. How are you finding them? Fucking some okay, yeah. Schultz found yeah. them. But um, holy shit! Yeah, this man. Is good. And they're all gonna be dressed like gothic Lolita, like total, you know, <laughs> fucking weird slut garb. So it should be pretty funny. And then Eric. Because Eric, Eric's, uh, the, f his, the way that he does a, like a straight man, it's just so, yeah. it's just so dead funny. Like, the NFL lawyer one, we had uh, an issue with an actor, and Eric is, we're filming Eric talking to the actor, and Eric's just like, sir, listen, if there's anything at all, sir, if there's anything I can do for you to get you back on board with this production, because this, at the end of this, end of the day, this falls on my head, and this is my job. Like the way Eric does that yeah. is so fucking funny, man. Yeah. But um, being like a nervous, like uh, nervous producer guy. Yeah. So he's gonna, he's gonna be the producer in this. So he's gonna have like a headset, mm -hmm. and anytime the guys like fall flat, he's just gonna bolster them up. He's gonna be like, "Hey, man, they want to see your personality. We want to see like what you got. Like, come on, you're an alpha dom. Just come on, get back in there, cheer them up." Yeah. Like that. Like if if any of the three daddy doms like falter or don't give up give enough of their personality, he's gonna coax them into being more <laughs> emotive or more expressive. If I brought a puppy home, could we keep it? Dick butt, thank you for giving out five memberships, man. I love cooking for my man and taking care of him. Only thing is, I spend all day on the 4chan paranormal board and watching true murder YouTubers, so I barely know how to make macaroni. If you sent me back, if you sent me to the grocery store, I'd come back with eggs, Wonder Bread, ketchup, and Pop Tarts. What are we going to eat when you discover that I'm completely useless in the kitchen or anywhere else except with my legs pinned back behind my head and the tip of a buck knife two millimeters away from my cornea? <laughs> My favorite thing is breakfast in bed. Would you ever make it for me? I could eat in bed all day. <laughs> That's the other funny thing is like just the reality of dating like a hot girl. Yeah. It's a fucking nightmare. And also yeah. like all this, all the like fetish shit that people do. It's so like if you're, if you're unemployed and you have nothing to do but be horny. Yeah. Then whatever. But it's just like eventually like if you get into this. And you, and you run into that roadblock where it's like you realize the girl's just in bed all day yeah. and she just wants to eat and like watch TV. It's just, this, it's just so funny. It's just they're so funny to me. <laughs> My favorite foods are candy, vape, Diet Coke with lime, and La Croix fizzy water. But many of these things agitate my Crohn's disease and my eczema. How would you ensure that your little baby gets a healthy diet that, inclu that includes original flavor Lay's chips and Dunkin' Donuts low-fat sandwiches? Stig00, zero zero, thank you for the five, man.
Letty wrote a bunch of baby girl questions Holy for the shit. sketch. What's the hardest you've ever joked someone out? Do you use a safe word? <laughs> Fuck. All right. She's good at writing. Yeah, she's funny. <laughs> Man, this is taking forever. Today's Monday. Girl goes into little space during sketch and starts acting like a baby. There's a little space? Little space, like, like this mental oh, headspace. Mental space. Yeah. Which is, that's really funny. That's what Letty wrote. Alright, let's copy and paste. Oh man, I fucked up my slack menu. It sucks. Do I have permission to go pee, Daddy? Can I have a potty break? <laughs> like that's <laughs> we're gonna have extras too. We're gonna have a whole crowd of people watching. Yeah. That's gonna be crazy to hear someone asking one of these gross guys. Isn't that. there a switch up on the guys at the end? Uh, there might be, but that might not be funny. Yeah. We'll we'll see. We got any other shit on the old chat shit? No, I think we're caught up. Let me double check. There's no worse feeling than a missed chat. Never. You hate now those so up. much. <coughs> caught up. Ooh, I want to play Diablo 4 soon. Yeah. Have you played it? No. I have not. Only time I played Diablo was with you. Mm. Games are hitting differently after Fish Tank. I fired up Hunt Showdown. Not doing it? I like I wiped the entire lobby. Really? And it didn't uh didn't do anything for me. Damn. Just got off, played one game, Damn. wiped and left. It's a very hollow feeling. Terrible. But I'm boycott I'm boycotting Call of Duty. For their woke. They went woke. Yeah, now I'm going to make them broke. Fuck that shit. I'm trying to play Seven Days to Die soon. King Kittens. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you for uh, the kind words there. Thank you for the time. Yeah. 
Yep, 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 yep. I'm definitely gonna play Seven Days soon. What is that? It's like a uh, Minecraft with zombies. <laughs> it's super autistic. It's like a base building game. It's really good. It's like so clunky and, and old and bad. But it's like the best co-op game you can play. You can just sink like 40 hours into uh, like building a base with your friends. Hmm. So good. Hmm. There's mining. There's mining and electrical systems. Is there redstone? No, there's wires though. And like, you have to know like the... It's the best part of Minecraft is redstone. There's gas generators and mm. wires and ACDC currents. Yeah. It's like, uh, what is, what's, it's like, um, what's the game you clowned on for being, like Factorio? Yeah. It's like Factorio a little bit. That game sucks. Butt Knuckles. I sent a $50 super chat last stream, but it was last minute. Joyride. I, oh, I remember. I was just saying the, the bad feeling of missing one. I remember you from last time, man. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, that was you. There should be a legal gang shootout in Joyride. Um, house is called SOHs. Airsoft with real firearms. Survivors don't face legal charges. That's a good idea. Yeah. Like legal death matches? Yeah. Writing it down, man. Like zones that are like bulletproof, like bullets can't go through them. You can step inside and just mm. shoot each other. Allen with a 25. Tim Dillon is a Zillow slash real estate nut. Can we try to get him on as a guest on Scuff Realtor? I'm sure we'd be open to that. It's just he seems like a busy, busy guy that makes millions of dollars. Maybe he would do it for the love of Zillow. Mm. Someone show him scuffed realtor clips. Trap Lore Ross. Oh shit, is this the real Trap Lore Ross? Thank you for the 20. Sam, have you, you have built an amazing and dynamic team. Any advice on sourcing and managing a crew of effective teammates who actually do as they're told without threats of violence? Big love from the fallen UK. Is that this guy? Um, there is a... I mean, finding people, finding people's hard, man. Well, go to Trap Lore, look on YouTube. If, if this is who I'm thinking of, Trap Lore Ross. Yeah, he does like uh, the, yeah, that's him. He does the documentaries on. Um, oh, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. This is the real account. He makes really good videos, so he could use like a team. Finding talented people is hard. It's what it's the, the most challenging um, aspect has been sort of assembling um, like-minded uh, folks who are good, you know? That's the hardest part. Yeah, that's him. Um, damn, that's crazy. YouTube yeah. legend. Bunch of trial and error, probably. Just like... <clears throat> yeah, trial and error, for sure. There's all kinds of stuff. You can't... Um, Signing contracts with people, like first of all, this is a whole thing. First of all, if you in, if you ever encounter somebody who thinks contractually right off the bat, that's not that's not the worst thing in the world, but it's a, it's a red flag for sure. Just because people are people are retarded. Someone and here's a, here's an example. Someone was um, telling me recently about his best friend. He was trying to he was trying to sort of like a like an airsoft fatty situation where the guy was talented but didn't have his life together yeah so he was trying to get his he was trying to help his best friend out and he was like hey i need you to put together these i need you to put together scripts so i can pitch them to this network and his friend was like not in a not in a antagonistic way but he was like um oh cool should i get contact a lawyer to draw up a contract so you don't steal my stuff and not he he didn't mean it like a, yeah, like in a yeah. way to start shit he was just asking he was asking if that was like the way to do it yeah. And a, there's a ton of people. There's a ton of people who get like that, um, right off the bat, thinking that some legal, like they just don't. People just don't know how shit happens. We hired. We had somebody who's like, um, we had an. Uh, I'm not gonna say what what that was, but we had a thing where it was like that, where it was just like a good, good guy who didn't know any yeah. better, but he he, he had been. Um, 
told by somebody that getting like contracts in place and like talking to lawyers was like a thing that you should do. And it's just, first of all, I've never in you know ten years or doing this since two thousand and seven, I've never sued anybody. I've never been sued, and I I just know that if if I were to sue somebody or vice versa, uh, it would be just horribly painful, and it would just be about who can endure more pain yeah. and nuisance. Yeah. Who can endure? Who can endure more nuisance? There's nothing that you put on a piece of paper that means anything. Like if you had, uh, let's let's say our contract. First of all, our 45-page contract with the fish tank contestants, where they signed away their life story. If, uh, like first of all. I don't even know, I don't even know what, I have no idea what it's like to do business in Massachusetts, okay? I know that if you, if you have any kind of contract in California or New York, and you have like an, the NDA for example, like we have an NDA, the that first everyone thing, broke. the first thing John does when he goes on Twitter is like, um, <laughs> say a bunch of stuff that breaks the NDA, yeah. can you imagine the social cost to us? If we like pursued legal action yeah. against John, like we would imme we would immediately destroy our image and our business by like going after John for breaking the NDA, yeah. which first of all, and, and the second part is like, if you have an agreement like that in California or New York or any state where it's like you have a chance of having an activist judge or mediator or some like you know mm -hmm. your mediator is uh, Karen Karen Rainbow from the Gay Jew Coalition, mm -hmm. and any like like they 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 would just um. That's that stuff. It's not legally binding, in the way that you think it is. It doesn't matter how well worded it is or what. It's just such a waste of time. It introduces so much drag. Drag in the sense of like friction, and I know that if um, as soon as anything, as soon as any that, that discussion comes up, not with a contestant on a game show, but with like anybody, you know, whatever, um, it immediately changes the dynamic, just a little bit to more more transactional more um like being aware of backstabbing like i wonder if i wonder if he's gonna stab me in the back we've got a contract together it just doesn't it's not good it's not a healthy thing so if you're i mean if you're a corporation or if you're an s corp and you're running an actual business and you're doing you have you have like a vendor like you have an actual business relationship then yeah, yeah. you probably need a contract but if you're making music and your friend is making music. You don't need a contract. And if you get if you get fucked over, the only thing you can do is just suck it up, be a man, and move on. There's no like anything anything else is such a huge waste of time. And I've had people take me for mad money. Like I've had people take ten thousand dollars for me and walk away and never talk to me again when they were supposed to be doing something, you know, business related or whatever, create creative for that money. And if I had pursued it, it would have ruined me. Yeah. Like if I had tried to track that money down, it would just—it would have ruined me. It would have taken—it would have taken six months of my, of my life and my focus away from work and just been fucked. Um, what did I even start ranting about this for? Just finding good people. I mean, oh, that, yeah. that's kind of the fee you finding pay good for people, yeah. finding good people is is uh, eliminating bad ones. Yeah. So you get you get you eventually you rack up characters around you who you trust and who, who you know are not gonna who don't look at things necessarily from a transactional point of view um, and then if you're doing something kind of wild then what you need is you need people who are brave enough to uh, weather the storm of uh, hate and um, you know woke whatever is coming at you but if you're doing uh, you know something normal you don't necessarily need that but just you just collect people that you trust, and try to keep it keep it a reciprocal relationship where they're getting something for what they're giving you, um, and just keep that you know keep that going. That's kind of what it's about. But um, that's a pretty common one. The people who jump to contractual stuff, or like trying to trying to micro like there's also there's also like uh, people counting money they don't have. That that annoy that fucking drives me crazy when some musician like if it's you know there are projects that we do that are never gonna like Tales of Wape, is not gonna Tales of Wape is not like a money making thing. So if somebody, if so, if someone was doing music for that and they were like, hey, can I have can I get five percent of the royalty like something yeah. like that where it's like five percent of the or even like even a one percent, it's like okay now I have to do now I have to do accounting, 
If yeah. it's a percentage, now I have to do accounting for a project that's making $15,000, like no money. Okay, now I have to set up accounting for this. So I have to do a Google spreadsheet. I'll, okay, I'll get you that 1%. How often do you want me to PayPal you once a week? Like that type of, sh that type of stuff doesn't, doesn't work. Rocky Stream with the 25 here. I prefer Diablo 2 to 3, but I think 4 is better than 2 so far. Just got to oh, really? test all the different basic skills and see what's more fun. Really? It's a bold claim. That is a bold claim. Yo, oh. Bombs, thank you for joining. Might have to check that out. Yeah, might be Diablo time. Yeah. Ethan Galvin with the 20, thank you for your generosity, man. He says, hi, guys. Can I ask you both what your favorite superpower is? I believe uh, I've got a hidden Mong strength, which I see as a superpower. Mong like the Vietnamese? Because that is a superpower. When I was a kid, I used to um, think if I focused hard enough, I could do telekinesis. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I was like, there's no way I don't have telekinesis. I just haven't figured it out yet. Because mm -hmm. I played a game called PSYOP Mindgate Conspiracy. Yep. That sounds like a good game. Was it? Yeah, yeah. Look it up on um, Google. The cover art's crazy. PsyOps Mindgate Conspiracy. Yeah, it's wow. sick. Wow. Oh, that looks great. It's really cool. Oh, cool. It's fucking... Marvel. Wet back. Oh, this looks cool, man. Yeah. Yeah, telekinesis. For sure. That's got to be my favorite. That's sick. Yo, boy, Poppy with the 25. Hey, Sam, have you ever heard of Kidney Stones? Uh, the band? He's just... Uh, oh, have you ever had Kidney Stones? <laughs> no, I've never had Kidney Stones. What about you? I... Sounds like fun. You know, not too frequently. We gotta shut it down. Anybody else in the chat there? The yeah, other last second kidney stone chats. Get your no, last second up. kidney stone chats in, guys. Can we remind people about the merch? Oh yeah. Hey, listen. You would help make us so happy <laughs> if you would just go one and all. If everybody watching this would get a hundred friends and send just one dollar. Mm -hmm. That would be immense. But in lieu of that, we'll let you off the hook. But go get your fish tank merch now. Three days processing, 10 days delivery in the US. Come on, guys. Get your fish tank merch. Look at these fun designs. I'm going with the Gold Striker Boxing Club. Body positivity, cabinetry, self-defense. Top J approved. You get the PSYOP hat. Fish tank psychological operations. Never reveal, never real. Damn. These are slick, man. You get this right here, Gold Striker. You got Chip. Guys, you gotta get some of these And designs. if you don't like American Dad, we got South Park. Hey, we got it for all flavors, all walks of life. Everybody. But yeah, guys, fishtank.live slash shop. Oh, there's a tab up at the top for yeah. original, too. For, for the OG collection. You want the OG tee? You get some accessories, the stay inside, no weed poster. Who's, um... Whoever made this one? Castillo... Castillo Zizisaya. Can, if you're, can, you, can someone message this guy? We should have a jetted up shirt in there. I think we gotta have that. Well, well. I think it's Twitter. We'll message this gentleman. We need to have a cool shirt made, though. Ah, yes. Here we go. Hey. Hey. Damn. <laughs> All right. But guys, please go. Cop now, buy it, buy some merch, okay? Directly funding season two. 
yes. lack of funding right now is hitting us hard. And Man. we're paying, we're, we're, co- we're footing the bill. Yeah. Because right now we're reaching into our own pockets for, to pay for whatever's coming next. We went heavily in the red. We did. Yeah. We got burned pretty bad by those um, domain name fees. Yeah. I don't know what we're going to do. Yeah, we've been paying 30000 every three days for two when months. My, when my Lamborghini GTR Diablo G, uh, uh, SVR gets here, I don't know how I'm going to buy fuel for it. Darth Bader, thank you for joining. And uh, 2 2 Freeze, final super chat here, says, Jet and Sam, I have lost 60 pounds in the last four months, and I'm on track to lose 60 more by winter. Any chances as a shirtless freeloader known as the Melted Man? Sounds good. Melted Man, we could do that. All right. Or we can just get you lipo. One last one from Josh. Hey, Sam, I've been pretty down bad on this housing market, which has led me to start looking into Turks and truck trucks and truck campers. I'm contemplating going homeless, and I don't make bad money about 1000 a week. Just wondering. I mean, can't you live with family or some fucking, I don't know, man. 1000 a week, that's kind of hard to get a get your own place. Yeah. Can you get a trailer? That's a bad idea. Nah, you can deck out trailers. You got to do something, though. The, the romance of living in a car is, uh, wears off in exactly three days. Yeah, you don't want me. that. You don't want that shit. That's all. We're caught up. All right.